Good afternoon, my homies. It's Saturday. And it's time for the quest for the Holy Book of Advanced Carpentry. We're going to find it. It's definitely going to happen. We're definitely not going to get lost and die. Now we are currently lost. Let's jump into the world. I quit yesterday because it was 2 a.m. So we're in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> we're so far in the middle of nowhere that even Dan didn't know where we were, which is never a good sign. Which means I'm tempted to turn around. But on the flip side, every quest involves exploring the unknown. Otherwise, it's not really a quest. We need to face the darkness. And by that I mean, we need to drive along a road. It's not quite as epic as facing the darkness. But we do need to drive along this road. So that's what we're going to do. I guess we are facing the darkness, it's pretty dark. <sighs> We've got plenty of supplies, except maybe water. We've got plenty of fuel, plenty of food, plenty of weapons. I don't know how much water we've got, actually. Great. No, we've got three bottles of water. We should be fine. Maybe. I've got no idea where we are. Like, seriously. I know how to get back. We just turn around and follow this road. But I've got no idea where we actually are. I want to get to civilization. I can't stay on this road. Ooh. What's down here? Also, while we're here, you never know. God damn it. I guess you do know. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, zombie! <clears throat> Just think, the zombies out here have been living a peaceful life. There's been no humans to mess with them for months. And suddenly we show up. <clears throat> it must be a real shock to their zombie system. They've probably forgotten what a human is. Is this a farm? It looks kind of farm-esque. Oh, F off. <sighs> I sure wish it wasn't night. Fine though. We'll go into this house. I think it is a farm, you know? Maybe they've got a carpentry book? Maybe this quest will be a lot easier than I thought. I sure hope an alarm doesn't go off. 
Knowing my luck, it's totally gonna. It's totally gonna. No! Awesome! Right, I'll take that axe. It's kind of pointless, but I'll take it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bookshelf. Master mechanics. Not really what I was after. I guess it'll do though. Got anything cool? Absolutely not. You know what? That's okay. I can live with it. We're not here for anything cool, really, I guess. <clears throat> We're mostly here to, uh... Let's fill up these bleach bottles, just because water is a concern. I'm not even sure we'll be able to, um... Fill them all up, to be honest. Because... The water got cut off a couple of days ago. Okay, okay. So we've got plenty of water now. To last us a few days. Not plenty to last us forever, but a few days. And you know what? A few days is probably all we need. Yeah, I'll take a hiking bag. It's not amazing, but I'll take it. Right, it should start getting light soon. Sure is a shame it's raining. Hmm. Hmm. Can I pick up sofas? <clears throat> yes. Cool. Oh, zombies? If this is a farm, it should have... Like, outhouses? I guess that's the wrong word. Outhouses are like toilets. But it should have, like... Sheds? Yeah, sheds. Maybe a barn? Come on. Sorry, Zombros. Aha! Oh, is that just another house? Huh? Huh? No. Locked? <clears throat> I didn't sign up for no locked doors. Oh, zombie. Time to wake up. Only kidding. It's actually time to die horribly. Wow. 
Farming for beginners, foraging for beginners. I'll take those. Hey Rain, farming for beginners again. We're never gonna find advanced goddamn carpentry. It's just not gonna happen. I had high hopes for this farm. Whew. I did not make that voice chat. You're absolutely right. I went straight to bed and then I forgot about it. You are absolutely right. <clears throat> There's not going to be anything in this chicken coop, but we'll check. You know what they say, if in doubt, check the chicken coop. Box of nails. You know what, I shouldn't sound disappointed about a box of nails. That's pretty good, that's a hundred nails. I've got no idea where we are on the map. Which is a little bit of a concern. We've got plenty of fuel, plenty of weapons, plenty of food, a little bit of medicine, but we're not going to get hurt, so it's fine. Anybody home? Take that hammer. Actually, to go and drop full of stuff. I'll bring the car down here. <clears throat> I do wonder where we are. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure we're not lost. <laughs> if we find a vehicle out here in the middle of nowhere, we're going to... Um... Try and pimp out our mechanics a bit. <clears throat> Just a little bit. But we want to try and get it up. We've got so many vehicles that it'd be nice to be able to start merging them together. I can't believe Dan told me that the driving was difficult in this game. It's just another bit of misinformation. I'm always getting misinformation thrown at me about this game. Combat's hard. Food's important. Vehicles are difficult to drive. 
Expert carpentry. Ugh. We just need advanced carpentry. Expert ain't gonna cut it. Ooh, a suitcase. I'm not even gonna take that. I'll take that, I guess, even though I never use them. One day I might. Yeah, let's eat those peanuts. <clears throat> Take that soda. We can fill it up with water potentially. Realistically, I'm not going to, but we could. Might as well do my due diligence, fill up these kettles. <laughs> There's something nice about just looting places out in the wilderness. Feels good. Even if we are totally lost. We've got everything we need. Smoke them if you got them. Hey, gamer. What's this game about? Surviving a zombie apocalypse. And we're currently lost in the middle of nowhere. But I do know how to get home, so we're not really lost, we're just in unknown territory. I didn't kill this guy. Hey, Vyasha Slav. Yeah, later, gamer. <laughs> nice outfit this time. Guess you've missed much. You have missed a lot. Many deaths is what you've missed. Many, many deaths. Let's dance, zombie. It's fine. I think we're actually doing better than we've ever done. Even better than our Mega Run. Sort of. I think in some ways we're doing better. That is Gordon Freeman cosplay. It totally is. <clears throat> Yo, heave ho! Right, I guess we're good. We need a library, that's what I was looking for when we came out on this drive, a library. We're right in the middle of nowhere exploring farms, which is the exact opposite of what I wanted. But then again, why waste the opportunity, right? We've got plenty of fuel.
Hey zombie. This car is great. It's really quick. It's really maneuverable. It can't stall very much, but that's fine. Yoink. Yoink. I should probably take this generator. I know Dan would be like, pick up the generator, pick up the generator. So just for Dan, I'll pick up the generator. Even if it will fill up our car, which is really annoying. It's not even going to fit in our trunk. Screw this generator. We don't need it. No, that's a very irresponsible attitude of mine. We can put stuff on the seats. I wonder if the car will uh, handle worse when I filled up all these seats. Probably, right? The more weight you've got on it, the worse it probably handles. <clears throat> I was saying earlier, these zombies haven't seen a human in months. We must be a novelty to them. They've literally just been stood in a field for months on end. It's no wonder they're not very good fighters. <clears throat> they haven't had the opportunity to train. They've just been out on a farm. Zombie, you gotta chill out, man. It understeers under heavy weight, you guess. Not sure if the game captures that. Well, we'll find out, because this car's real heavy now. But first, we'll, uh... I should probably take that barbecue. That zombie did have an accident's back. Uh, we should probably take this. How much does it weigh? Ten. Yeah, we'll take it. And then I should start picking up charcoal. <sighs> Where's my water? Uh huh. Ha ha ha! <clears throat> I need to do some foraging. How's our weight doing? Ninety-five. I'd like to make our guy really fat again. I know it's counterintuitive. I'd like to make him really fat again. Quite liked him being fat. I didn't have to worry about food. 
I can just eat berries to my heart's content. Hey, zombie. Have you got advanced carpentry? No. Shizer! Big hiking bag. Yeah, I'll take that. That's pretty good, actually. That's the bag we're using. I wanted to go to a big town, find a library. Being out in the middle of nowhere is really not beneficial to us. It's quite relaxing, but it's not beneficial. I feel like it's handling mostly the same. I don't know, I've got a really bad memory. Oh, zombies. A gift from the big city. Sweet, sweet complacency. How I've missed you. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, we just need advanced carpentry. Angler USA just ain't gonna cut it. Mm. A zombie, I can hear you. Maybe he's outside. Maybe he's in here. Hey, zombie. Mm. There is a case to be made that I should deconstruct these entire houses while I'm here. Even though we're not getting the multiplier. It's still probably worth it. But I refuse. I'd rather make more progress than spend entire days deconstructing- Ugh! Oh my god, I thought he jumped out of a window. Oh. That's the most I've panicked <clears throat> in a long time. 
Must have been so boring for it to stand in that tiny locked room. Yeah, I know, right? You gotta feel bad for the zombies. They don't have much of a life. That's why they need to bring NPCs back. At least then I can imagine that the zombies are running around killing people. Here, they're just stood in a field for literally months on end. It's just no way to live. <clears throat> At least they get a little bit of excitement before we kill them. So if you think about it, we're doing a public service to the zombies. God damn it. Oh, being in the countryside is nice. You can just break windows. You don't have to worry about anything. I mean, sure, the loot isn't great. But it sure is relaxing. Right, let's get back onto the main road. These farmhouses... The loot to time ratio is not worth it. Looking for a town. Well, it's not a town, but it is something. Jesus Christ, there's so many zombies here, what the hell? We just need a small area with no zombies so that we can work our way inwards from there. Ooh, a trailer. Food market, hospital. There has to be a place with no zombies somewhere around here. Small beginnings. Let's go. Oh shit, I left a lighter in the car.
<laughs> really don't need those bleach bottles on me. Oh, zombies! <sighs> this is a bit ambitious. This is fine. Okay. Good job we found like two extra crowbars. Come on. <laughs> Look, I hear you, zombie. No need to be all coy, just come out of the trees. A zombie I know you're in there well screw you then zombie That's the way you're going to play it? So be it. Right, let's <clears throat> rest for a sec. I might be crazy, but I'm not that crazy. It's starting to get to be night. Hmm. 
Not too happy about that. <clears throat> Oh, zombies, come and save your friend. Whew. That car looks pretty beat up, but maybe it's okay. Maybe we can scavenge some parts from it. I did say I wanted to level up our mechanics. The car's in the middle of nowhere is the way to do it. Just start stripping them. Try and clear out this car before night, and then through the night we can, uh, work on tearing it apart. Have a key. No key. Hey, Flash. Calling one doesn't seem to give up. Yeah, I know, right? Why does this ranger have a dead bird in the back of his car? What a madman. Zombies are real winners, never quit. Real winners do quit sometimes. To avoid being losers. Also, that car is a piece of junk. I really resent our guy getting panicked by this. There's literally no reason for him to be panicking. Oh no, three zombies. I know I've murdered entire towns of zombies, but three just makes me panic. Don't break down that door, zombie. Show some respect. God damn it, I might have to break down that door.
She panics due to the Kurdish woman. Yeah, maybe. Might as well eat these berries, they're going to start going off soon. Know your limits. That's the key in this game. <clears throat> Any other advice is whack. Know your limits. Everyone's limits are different. <clears throat> Hey James, it seems pretty cool. It is cool. A semi automatic crowbar. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That extra level in fitness has really helped. It means we can swing for a lot longer without getting tired. Although it would be nice to get some more levels in uh, fitness. I think I need to start training fitness exclusively. Because our strength is alright. The real issue is being able to swing consistently. Look, I hear you, zombie. Where are you? Right, the key to this thing is probably in here. <clears throat> Earlier I mentioned deconstructing a house. What would I get out of that, down to wood and nails? Yes. Wood, nails, metal if I had a propane torch. Which I think we do have in the car. But mostly I want it for the uh, carpentry XP. <laughs> Look zombies, leave me alone. Right, we're gonna have to either smash a window or... Well, smash a window. We could deconstruct the door. Let's deconstruct the door. Oh, I need my hammer. I thought it was a screwdriver. I think you need a hammer and a screwdriver. kind of annoying actually. He's going all the way back to our car. Shh, so dark. 
Maybe we should let our guys sleep. But we really want to get into that house to sleep. Because it's at least vaguely secure. I brought that generator with me, didn't I? I did. Maybe we can hook it up to the, um... If we hook it up to the... gas station... We should be able to fill up all our fuel cans. Which would make this journey totally worth it. Even in a zombie apocalypse, you should stay within the lines. It's just polite. Yoink. I do hear zombies. There's probably some inside the house. Well, the shop. But the shop has a house upstairs, usually, so... Let's go upstairs. Oh, F off! Please stop. F that. Yeah, hi zombies. That makes so much noise, it's ridiculous. They literally come from miles around. <sighs> Plus the power's off. I don't even know why the, the alarm is working. I guess it's got its own power supply. I don't know. Feels pretty cheap to me. When the power's off, the burglar alarms stop working. That would make sense. It'd at least provide a vague advantage to the power going off. Instead of it just being pure negatives. Yeah, I guess it is a battery backup. I guess I don't mind it now. It adds a little bit of danger now that we've kind of consolidated ourselves. Living in a storm area, there are no advantages to the power going off unless you're a refrigerator bacterium. Well, yeah. At least it's lured all the zombies out of the woods. Because we're going to have to go foraging, so it's quite good that it's lured them all out, actually. Foraging?
Let's get some berries. I could get some mushrooms as well. I think for now I'm happy with just berries. We're still overweight. Twenty-eight berries! Well, I guess we've got like fifteen. And our foraging leveled up. Yes! Right, those berries should keep us going for another couple of days. A little bit of a risk sleeping here. Rain says any melee weapon would be considered semi auto. One action, one use. <clears throat> that alarm actually has worked out quite nicely for us. It's lured most of the zombies away from the uh, gas station. Very cool. Ah, complacency. Feels good. Should probably ease up on it a little bit, though. Maybe not. We are the King of Kings. Ooh. I want to get that gas pump. I want to see if we can I've never used one. I want to see how we can get fuel out of it. Hmm. That's a bit much. Mmm. 
Gotta keep an eye on that other group. Move the vehicle a bit further in. Rest up. And then, uh, kill all those zombies. Secure the fuel pumps for humanity, at least temporarily. about being in your car is you can actually see behind you as long as it's daytime because you've got wing mirrors. It's really quite beneficial. The big group. This is gonna be fun. <sighs> oh, they've broken up. Awesome. Oh, zombies. Okay, that's actually a huge group. Can you set them on fire? You can, but we don't have anything to do so just now. Also lure them away with sound. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of dealing with the problem as opposed to moving it aside. Deal with this group. makes this game interesting is the zombies are actually pretty damn easy to kill but if you get bitten or even just scratched once you have huge problems
That's what I like about this game. It punishes you for your mistakes. It never... well... Apart from the helicopter and the burglar alarms. Generally speaking, on a general level, the game punishes you for not planning. As opposed to just screwing you over. Which is why it's so frustrating when it does screw you over just randomly. Right, let's get out of here. That horde's starting to migrate. F that noise. <sighs> Back to the relative safety of the vehicle. Jesus Christ! So much for not being able to be snuck up on. That scared the bejesus out of me. Okay, that's good. About half of them. More God than man. This is fine. And this is why it's so important to start on the outside and work your way in so that you've got an area you can retreat into. If you don't do that, you can't walk backwards safely. And if you can't walk backwards safely, then there's no way you're winning fights. Water's getting a bit low.
Hmm. We should be able to get water in one of these buildings. We do have water in the car, actually. I think it's in the back. Let's rest up. I don't think we're going to find a library here, though. This is just a gas station. <laughs> Stupid zombie. Too potent. Okay, good. We're not going to deal with those. I just want to mess around with these fuel pumps. <sighs> and check out these shops, I guess. They might have some books. The burglar alarm goes off on this one as well. I'm going to freak the F out. smash a window. I was going to disassemble the door, but what's the point? <clears throat> the zombies have already done most of the work for us. Oh, zombies? I know there's one of you in here. On something good. A heavy duty performance tire, that is really good. Need four of them, really, but. One of them is still not bad. If we can get four heavy duty performance tires, that's going to be really good. We can get out a car. Nice. That propane tank is super useful. Very nice. This shop's great. Right, I need to bring the van down here. The car, rather. It's not a van. Very cool.
Let's see some of these chips. I want our guy to get a bit overweight. A bit more overweight. He's down to 94. His hair's growing back. I don't mind wasting chips. <coughs> I know hardcore players would cringe at that, like, no, save the chips, they'll be really helpful in the winter. But I just don't buy it. Let's fill up our water bottles. One day this car's inability to start reliably is really going to screw us over. That's a lot of Z's. Okay, zombies, if you'd stayed down there, I would have let you live, but you just signed your own death warrant. Another important trick is knowing when to swing and when to push. Nice try, zombies. No flanking maneuvers gonna work on me. This guy's literally just spent an entire day killing zombies. It's a good life. Uh oh, we're starting to get tired. Oh, that's really bad. It's fine, I believe. I don't believe. He's too going to be too tired to kill all these. Could I safely sleep in that shop's back room? 
Yes, but it'd be a really bad night's sleep, which is not good. If you if you sleep in an uncomfy location, um, your guy can wake up with pains, and they make you way less effective. And they last for like an entire day. Right, I think I managed to just lure one of them over. We'll kill that one, then we're safe to sleep in the car, I think. Well, relatively safe. <laughs> yeah, we should be safe. I believe. Why do you wake up in a panic? Nightmares. God damn it. At least didn't wake up in a panic because we were surrounded by zombies. It's just a regular panic. I'm not tired anymore, so that's fine. Really need to move these corpses instead of playing zombie slalom every time we try and drive. But it's fine. Right, we should be able to take them on now. There's only like eight of them. Oh, zombies! Yeah, well done, you've spotted me. My general philosophy for if I have to run is, do I have to push two zombies at once? If I ever have to push two zombies without getting a crowbar swing in, then there's too many and it's time to run away. It's a pretty good system. I wonder how much noise the generator makes. I've never used a generator. In fact, I don't think we've actually read the book How to Use Generators. So this might have been completely wasted effort now that I think about it. <sighs> oh, 
Although, is it really wasted effort? It's XP, which is always nice. It's satisfying. It's quite early to be streaming. Not on a weekend. On a weekend, it's a totally reasonable time. I started streaming at like 2 p.m. Rain says, Generator is like a cross between a motorcycle and a lawnmower, sound wise. So pretty loud. Electrician profession or learnt knowledge required. I feel like we found the book, How to Use a Generator. It might have been in that shop. But my memory is really bad for this stuff. I reckon somewhere around here there'll be the How to Use a Generator book. I think it's reasonable for it to be here, somewhere. <sighs> Meanwhile, let's loot this. I mean, it's not a total waste, even if we can't get the gas. We've been getting a load of gas from the shop. We've been getting a load of other stuff as well. Our van's almost full. Mm. Our van is basically full. We can still put stuff in our backpack, but then we're fully stocked up and should probably head home. Home's pretty far away. We don't need any more gas cans, we've got loads of them. I'll take those full ones though. We are overburdened. I might take some stuff out of the car that we don't need. Like trash that I just picked up just because it exists. I don't think we need that. Um, actually, I really want most of this stuff. And the parts that I don't want barely weigh anything. Well, actually, no, I've left the generator there. Brilliant. That means the trunk is empty. Well, not empty, but we've got a lot more space in it. 
And we'll leave the generator there. We've got plenty of generators, and that way we know that there is one here, if we ever do learn how to use it. Might as well leave a generator at the at the pumps. Right, let's um It's been a while. Let's inflate our tires. Just to make sure. Yeah. They're starting to get a bit low. I hear a zombie. Uh, it's just that guy. I'm not too worried. Nice. This car's great. Really, really great. <clears throat> the brakes are a bit knackered, but I never use the brakes. I always just let go of the accelerator, so that's fine. Right, that should help the handling a bit. How much space have we got left in our trunk? Like... 27. That's quite a lot, actually. Garbage bag? Yes! We want as many garbage bags as we can find. And we've got so much fuel now in gas cans that it's totally worth um, it's totally totally worth going on a bit of a longer drive next time. Maybe in a different direction. I think we go home and then we pick a different direction. Because this has clearly led us just out into the middle of nowhere. Let's go home. It's going to be a long drive. And I can't quite remember the way back. But let's go. We're literally going to be driving for about 10 minutes, so don't expect any excitement for the next while. We're just following this road. Literally following this road for like 10 minutes. Rain says, posted my early dinner in your Discord. FYI. Oh really? Once we get onto a straight stretch of road, the highway, I guess, I will have a look at your early dinner. Ah. <sighs> This has been a very productive journey. A very, very productive journey. But it hasn't got as advanced carpentry, which is what we're after. I will want the same. Well, we'll see once I see it.
I thought Kurdish Lady only started singing if um, we were in danger. She is very active today. Right, I'm just checking Discord to see Rain's dinner. What is that? Pepperoni and... something. Whatever the something is, I would not be having it on there. Black olives. Yeah, screw that, man. What the hell? Black olives. Olives are nasty. <clears throat> but I don't judge. Although I guess silently I do. And I guess it's not that silent. Because I said F that. But still, screw olives. More for you. Yeah, totally. Oh, it's a long way home. But, I know where the military base is, Rain. I know where it is. It's actually on the way home. You don't believe me? Look, I'm not going there. I know your plan. I'm not proving it by going there. But it is there. Maybe I will prove it by going there. Sod it. Let's prove it by going there. Your plan has worked. Thing is, I don't fully know how to get there. I know that's kind of backtracking on what I said. It's kind of a forest maze to get there. But I know how to reach the forest maze. You called me out, you did. Hey zombies. It's just down here, there'll be an exit off to the right. A little thin exit. That when we were heading the other way, I thought about exploring. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> BLM protest zombies blocked the road, totally. Not very effectively though. So there's that exit, and then there's another exit on the other side, and it's that one that takes you to the military base. Should be coming up. I forgot how long this road was. Here it is. My car sounds like a boat. Yeah, I know. It really does. Okay, Rain, I'll put my money where my mouth is. <sighs> if it gets us killed, just know Rain is to blame. I was mouthing off, now I'm on the hook. I wasn't mouthing off, I just said I know where the military base is. That's not mouthing off. Hmm. 
It was more a point of interest. <clears throat> it wasn't a let's go to the military base and get ourselves killed. I made you remove the olives. Did you remove them? You totally should have. It's a good call. Oh, this really wasn't a good idea. <clears throat> Turn around. No, I'm I'm in too deep. We've started, so we'll finish. Are you getting buyer's remorse? Look, it'll be fine. Okay, I might have gone the wrong way now. I don't fully know my way through the forest maze. Either we've gone the wrong way, or we've gone the right way. One of the two. Seems like a blind adventure. I know it might seem that way, but trust me. I'm totally not lost. There it is. Point proven. Now let's go home. Look, I was proving I knew where it was. Our car is full. We can't even get any loot from it.
Look, Rain, all I said was I was proving where it was. I never said I was raiding the military base. I'm not a fool. If our car was empty, probably some badass vehicles in there. Yeah, but I think our vehicle's pretty badass. We'll come back with an empty vehicle. Fuck! When it starts, this is one badass taxi. Yeah, when it starts, totally. Rain, you are to blame for this. Never forget. Can I move into the military base to live? I totally could, yeah. It'd be a bit of a pain getting out again every time I wanted to go somewhere. You're impervious to guilt. That's a good way to be, man. I think I'm going the right way to get out. Mount a machine gun on top, then it'll be badass. Yeah, that's true. That'd be nice. Should be able to do drive-bys. I think drive-bys would be the go-to strategy in the zombie apocalypse. As long as you have the fuel. You just realised where are all the children in this? Yeah, I was saying that ages ago, but yeah. I agree, there should be kids. Make them a bit harder to spot, they could be quite nicely balanced. Won't hit anything in the head with a drive-by. If it was a very slow drive-by, you'd have to be going that quickly. <clears throat> Drive-bys with baseball bats. A lot of games, movies don't show kids because of mass objections. Yeah, I know, right? It's totally lame. <laughs> Zombies start shooting back. Zombies are like, you escalated this. There we go, we're safe. And I proved a point to Rain. Now I can run my mouth all I want. I mean, sure, we wasted a quarter of our fuel. People are so bored they complain about everything. Yeah, I know, right? Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> ah. 
I bet our base is surrounded by zombies. Now I know the way better for next visit. Yeah, totally. Jose Rico says, have you guys seen the video of that lady on meth telling a guy he needs Jesus? No. Recon has never wasted fuel. Yeah, that's true. Plus, if we need fuel, we just need to read how to use a generator. And we've got so many gas cans, we can stock up on fuel really easily now. I mean, sure, it's a bit of a drive to get there. But that's why we're building our base at one of those gas stations. It's a bit of a risk, but I'm going to let our guy sleep. I think he's earned it. I don't think it's that much of a risk. If there were zombies nearby, they would have heard the car. No, our berries are going off. Oh, woe is me. If the world comes to an end, you're doing anything and everything you can get your hands on. I like the presumption that you would survive the world coming to an end. That's optimism. Rain says, happy to push Callum into some premium content situations. Thank me later. Look. That wasn't premium content, that was us driving through a forest for five minutes. <clears throat> now I know in our truck we have how to use generators. You're saying before it happens. Oh, right. It was searching for the base, it had suspense. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Jose Rico, I think if there was advance warning that the world might end, I think most people would assume it wasn't going to end and carry on business as usual. I think everyone would assume it was just people exaggerating for some hidden agenda. Like, oh yeah, the world's gonna end, sure it is. Well, maybe so, but I still got bills to pay. Even if they said, like, warning, we're going to get nuked, people would be like, we ain't getting nuked, shut up. What's your agenda telling us we're going to get nuked? As Rico says, in Hawaii, they had a missile warning, and everyone was panicking. We do get warnings before a missile comes. Was everyone really panicking, though? Are you sure everyone was panicking? Or were a few people panicking? What's my OnlyFans? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's a very limited subscription. Right, how many zombies are going to be at the base? I reckon 20. We 
We were told this from the representative of Hawaii, Tulsi Gabbard. Yeah, exactly. No reason to believe. Ah, home free. A nice collection of cars. I think we can all agree that if a politician says something, you can assume the opposite. Um, right, we need to empty out that vehicle. Tulsi Gabbard is one of the good ones. Even so. What you mean by that is Tulsi Gabbard gives off the impression of being one of the good ones. Does impressions. All politicians do impressions, right? You know her history and where she comes from and who her enemies are. You know the public appearance of where she comes from and who her enemies are. Which might be true. But it also might not be. I don't trust anyone. Don't trust anyone about anything. It's the only way to be sure. If she was bad, she would be getting support from literally every other Democrat. That's a very simple-minded way of looking at things, my man. If you think people aren't clever enough to realize, ah, oh, people think like, you know, people who are getting supported by the Democrats are bad. Let's have someone who isn't supported. I mean, come on, that's like a basic thing. <clears throat> Control both sides, right? If all the other politicians hate her, she's a good one. But you can't say all the other politicians hate her. All you can say is all the other politicians appear to hate her. Which is not the same thing. It is not the same thing. But you know what? I don't like to talk politics. Maybe she is a good egg. I'm just saying. Appearances are not guaranteed in any situation. <clears throat> James says, food for thought, anyone who wants to be in power over you shouldn't be. Nobody should be in power over you. You agree with my scepticism? Yeah, scepticism is where it's at. Eternal scepticism. That's fine, Jose Rico. I'm not going to get into a debate about the qualities of politicians. I'm just saying, none of your arguments are actually valid, in my opinion. But if they're valid for you, then that's all that matters. Jose Rico's picture is very high. Haha, <laughs> totally. I can't see the pictures very well, but I just noticed what it was by looking real close at my monitor. <clears throat> I hear you, zombie. Where are you?
I'm not getting snuck upon by a zombie while we're sorting out these vehicles. Sorry, old man. Whew. How to use generators. Zombie and Callum are each trying to lure the other into a trap, yeah. And I always win. Well, usually. Until the burglar alarm goes off. Once the burglar alarm goes off, all bets are off. Let's read how to use generators. Then we just don't need to worry about it anymore. Whew. And I can take this opportunity to have a break. You don't think you could pronounce your name if you were high, it'd be, you'd be way too slow. Yeah. It reminds me of when I, uh, I used to play a game called APB, uh, All Points Bulletin, and I had a gang in it <clears throat> called uh, Los Banditos, and me and a bunch of my friends made characters, and we were all named, I was uh, El Taco, another guy was El Nacho. Another guy was El Quesadilla, and uh, so on and so on. And we all had Mexican outfits. And ran around killing people. It was great. It was good times. Put in fuel, turn it on, plug in the wires. Maybe these generators are really complex. Or maybe our guy's really dumb. Or maybe Rain has read how to use generators. But now our guy has as well. He can put fuel in, turn it on, and plug in the wires. Can I sleep? No. Okay, let's um do some fitness exercises. We're just killing time through the night until we can sleep. Yeah, do some setups. <clears throat> Can't see what's going on, but that's fine. How much? <clears throat> Like a f quarter of the way there, roughly. A fifth there, maybe. <clears throat> right, let's uh, let's get him a book to read whilst he rests up. We've got plenty of books. We need to read forage <coughs> foraging for cool dudes. Advanced foraging. <clears throat> all our all our books are shit where did I put the books I must have put them somewhere Remember I went on that book looting spree? Where did I put all the books? Hmm. 
They were in the trunk of one of these cars. Oh, yeah, I know where they are. I know where they are. They're in the trunk of the white car. Got too many cars. Or not enough cars. I hear you, zombie. Now we are very tired, this is going to be a pain. It's this car that's full of all the books. <clears throat> Advanced foraging, that's the one. We might take another car out on our next journey. Maybe this one? No, that one's fuel tank's really broken. Maybe the white one? Look, zombie. Get off my land. This is private property. You're trespassing. Castle Doctrine! I guess technically this isn't our house, so Castle Doctrine doesn't apply. Whew. Now we just read our book through the night, and then it'll be morning. We can let him have a little nap. <laughs> Your first name is actually an old Viking saying for raiding or stealing. Really? That's pretty cool. <clears throat> My first name means White Dove. Back to reading. Right, I'll be right back.
Like a phoenix from the flames, I have risen from the ashes. <clears throat> Let's let our guy sleep. Then it should be nice and light. I slaughtered that saying. Yeah, that's fine. Why use other people's sayings? Put your own spin on it. Oh no, we don't have a lighter. Oh. Is that a nightstick? I mean, I know I've gone crowbar heavy, but the more nightsticks we can get, the better. Come on, zombie. I know you're there. Where are you, son of a bitch? Whew. <laughs> uh, do we have any lights in here? No. Right, which vehicle are we going to take out? I think I'll take the taxi. Big fan of the old taxi. Back at the gas station I had three lighters in the car. Yeah, we got loads of lighters in the car. Loads of them. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the axe and I'll take the propane tank and I'll take the gas cans. Small reflection of normal life, totally. <laughs> we'll do some more foraging while we're here as well. Might as well do. This foraging is great. I need to restart the game. Ever since they patched it, it starts hanging after a while. It's really annoying. Although they did patch in some nice features. So I can't hate on it too much. But the hanging is a bit annoying. What features? Just small quality of life things, like if you have a bottle in a bag and you tell him to fill up the bottle, he will fill it up and then put it back in the bag when you never used to. <clears throat> Very minor things, but much appreciated. At least I think they did. Best not to quote me on that, but I do believe they did. Because it started happening. And the games started running like dog shit. Which means they've probably introduced a memory leak. Sad times.
You already retweeted me. But I don't tweet. Was that a joke? I think that was a joke. Have you guys seen the work they've done on the multiplayer? No, I don't really keep up on the multiplayer side. I hear you, zombie. Unfortunately, multiplayer doesn't work in the beta. And the beta is where all the action is. I'll keep expert carpentry on us, you never know. I'll keep the wrench on us, you never know. <clears throat> Zombie, F off. Watching ski jumping on the telly, those people are crazy. Yeah, I know, right? I'll just launch myself off this cliff and see how far I can go. Okay. <clears throat> A lot of busy work to get all this stuff out, but it's fine. I think that's everything. And he can finally have a smoke. Except that I've got rid of his cigarettes somewhere, and I don't know where. Probably in here. Yeah. Then we go foraging, and then we're good to go, I think. Maybe. <clears throat> Let's move all the gas cans into the trunk, just for consistency's sake. We've got five full cans of gas. That's pretty huge. And seven more that we can fill up, if we so desire. <clears throat> right, let's go get some berries, and then we'll go. What's preventing me from a military base raid? Uh, the fact that I want advanced carpentry, and I don't believe it's going to be in the military base. Apart from that, nothing really. Right, I need to restart the game after we forage. Carpentry, I know, right? It's our eternal foe. It really is our eternal foe. Come 
How many berries you get is ridiculous. You can't live off just berries, you're not playing the game right. Tell that to our guy, he's been eating them for months. <laughs> right, let's go. Have we got everything we need? We've got water, we've got food, we've got a bandage. Oh my god, F off. I do feel like we've become like pest control for the world. We've got weapons. Yeah, I think we're good. Now, which way do we go? Actually, before we go. One small thing. Let's fill up the engine with fuel. Imagine if they added NY to the game. Would that even be possible? New York. Maybe someone has. I know you can download user-generated maps. <laughs> the lag would be unbearable. <clears throat> no, probably not. It only um simulates the zombies within like a certain radius of you. Everywhere else they're frozen in time. Which is kinda of BS, but I guess they have to do it. Right, I'm going to restart the game, and then we're good to go. But first, I want to open Task Manager and see if it is a memory leak. I'm going to assume it is. I don't know why the game would be using two and a half gig of memory. But I've got plenty of memory, that shouldn't... Yeah, whatever. Right. Let's restart the game. I even restarted my computer in the hope that would fix the lag issue. I guess it's not lag. The occasional freeze issue. But it didn't help. Right, we went out of the... We went to the north of the town. This time we'll go to the... South? Or should we go east? East or south? Someone make a decision. No idea what's in those directions. Me neither, man. It's flipping a coin. But that's the whole point. It's good that we don't know. Dan would be like, go to the east for three miles, then take a turning off to the right. Then move forward and take the second left, pass by the barnyard, and jump into the lake. But where's the fun in that? <clears throat> Kurdish woman says come east. Okay, east it is. Why is our inventory so full? It's propane to no. Wow, 
Why are we carrying 8.52? This is really full of something. None of this stuff weighs much though. I guess our bleach bottles weigh quite a bit, but not that much. I guess our berries weigh quite a bit. What do I need bleach for? They're actually filled with water. Um, there are backup water, which I can put in the seat, to be fair. We don't need to carry all the bleach with us. Our guy's a real jerk. What did he just do with that bleach? He threw it out the window. Oh, what an asshole. Put it in there. That's our backup water. Each of those bleach bottles contains one water bottle's worth. Right, let's go. Off to the east. The land of the rising sun. There was a town in Project Zomboid. They called it the Rising Sun. We're off to a great start. I'd love to steal those cars. And those cars. I want to steal every car. <clears throat> Grand Theft Zombie, yeah, totally. <clears throat> Go east, where the grass is green. Go east, where the air is clean. Go east, do 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 do. Go east, dee 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 dee. Hopefully we find a town, a real town. I know we can just look at the map online, but where's the fun in that? Lots of farmyards here, that's good to know. And we're just going to follow this road. 
That way we can easily find our way back just by going west. God damn it. A shitty road. <clears throat> I don't think that's this song, Rain. Is it? Mayhaps. Mayhaps not. Ah, I just want to raid a library. What's this place? Ugh. Warehouse? Hey, I'll take a warehouse. Ah, fuck. Double fuck. I didn't have my weapon equipped, so he just used his elbow. Well, that's us. Damaged. Need to keep an eye on that bandage. God damn it. Imagine if we get infected. At least we've got disinfectant on us. There's no zombies here either. Holy crap. Shame we're probably not going to find advanced carpentry here. Kurdish woman delivers. Yeah, totally. There's no way we're going to find advanced carpentry here. But if we did, it'd be pretty great. We could disassemble all these and <clears throat> make a mint. NPK fertilizer. Nice. Crowbar. I mean, it's mostly damaged, but they last forever, so. <clears throat> you never find books in here. Which I guess is fair. Warehouses never have them. Shiza! I shouldn't complain, I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. It's sad that lead pipes have been relegated to not very good. They used to be our weapon of choice. Force me into crafting. Yeah. This game can't force me into anything. Etc. 
except raiding libraries, which it's totally forced me into doing. <clears throat> Keep an eye on that forearm. We also need to sleep. I'm gonna keep him awake a little bit longer though. There's no zombies here. We might as well make the most of it. Check out this other warehouse. Right. I've got my weapon equipped this time. We can literally just disassemble all this stuff for XP, but I'm not doing it until we get the book. I do have some standards. Holy crap, this place is great! It'd be nice if we could find a tarp. That'd be another nice thing. Then we could make a tent. And then sleeping would be a lot easier. Because we could literally sleep anywhere. I'll take a snow shovel. Hmm. We have so many boxes of nails, it's awesome. looking fine in the book. No. No. No luck whatsoever. But we're heading out trying to find another library. We've just been distracted by this warehouse. Which has got loads of seeds. So when we do make a farm, we'll be able to make a massive farm. Loads of seeds. It's the warehouse's fault. It totally is. It's distracting us from our mission. But, once we get the book, we can come here and disassemble all these crates, which will probably level us up really fast. It's a sore topic. <laughs> totally is. It also didn't help that rain forced us to go on an expedition to the military base. Which also slowed us down. Not that I'm attributing blame. But if I was, rain would be the target. My blame game is outrageous. <laughs> Look, it's valid. It's totally valid. Totally Rain's fault. It is. You should have seen it. He was basically saying if I didn't go to the military base, I was subhuman. Did I really not bring more than one bandage? Look, mistakes were made.
Can I clean that bandage? It's going to use water, but it's totally necessary. <sighs> you can say now I'm borderline lying. It's true, I am. If you're going to lie, make it two parts truth, one part lie. A very valuable lesson in lying. Not that I approve of lying these days, but when I was a youth, I used to lie all the frickin' time. And two parts truth, one part lie is the way to do it. There's a little bit of useful information. I was blabbering about secret knowledge and was... There is a zombie here! It's true, I was blabbering about secret knowledge and got pulled out. Maybe we'll get lucky and the book will be in here. Doesn't look promising. No, I'm showing some bad winner qualities. Look. You got to take victories where you find them. Calling people a bad winner is just a defense mechanism for sore losers. If you win, you should be entitled to celebrate. Otherwise, what's the point? <clears throat> right. Let's move on. We did get some gas there, which is nice. We do need to sleep. I guess we can just sleep in the car. It's probably fine. Dan would freak out, but Dan's not here to freak out, so sod it. Dan would be like, no, you can't sleep in the car. You've got to build yourself a fortified base and then sleep in that. <clears throat> I feel like I'm a, I'm a bit harsh on Dan sometimes. Especially when he's not here to defend himself. I'm going to cut it out until he's here to defend himself. Right, let's go. Left or right? Rain, you made a relatively good decision going east. Left or right? left. Okay. I hope someone's keeping note, otherwise I'm going to forget how to get home. I'm not going onto a dirt track. Screw left. It was a bad choice. Dirt track does not reek of civilization. I'm blocking the road. God damn it! <sighs> this is a game punishing me for not following Rain's directions. over, not under. Good call.
And we can't even move that car because it's a total busted heap. Poor dead guy under the car. No key. Wait, was the key in it? Yes. No fuel. Yoink. We're going to move this car out of the way. I'm not squeezing past it. I have some standards. Feel back. You would just release the handbrake and push. Seems like more effort than it's worth. Nice. How the F did you get the fuel back out? That is a question for the ages. I leave that one to the philosophers. Straight. We're not going straight, man. We'll go right. Right's been working well for us. Then on the way back, we just have to take every left turning. A big group of zombies bodes well, but I'm not going that way. You're a good man, Rain. You're a good man. X Files influence. What does that mean? I'm sure that does make sense, but I don't understand it. Game's totally starting to chug. Hey, Dan. There we go, it sorted itself out. Just had to stop for a sec. I think it's it loading new areas. Did I see your comment from last night? No. Usually I'm quite good at keeping up with my comments. <clears throat> it's fine though, we made it to a gas station.
stole a whole bunch of crap and then left again. But then we went back to the base and now we've gone out to the east. And we went to the military base. We didn't raid it, but we went there. Just for a bit of sightseeing. Don't go north here at the edge of the map, no more civilization. There was an episode in which they had to shoot between left and right and the guy said straight. Ah, oh, right, okay. Rain, we just took a turning. I hope you're keeping track. You need to add a left to your list. Nice. <clears throat> dee 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 dee. Then a straight ahead. Rain's putting in work. That's why he gets to be the union rep. We've used like a quarter of a tank of fuel. Seems a bit excessive. Does this game still have a lot of people playing? Good question. Uh, I'm not sure. This is a 12 cylinder V8 boat, totally. It really does sound like a boat. Okay, we've gone, well, we've gone left, so we need to add a right. Hordes of zombies are promising. They imply civilization. Rain, you devious son of a bitch. That should be a left, not a right. Former civilization. Yeah, true, true. Whew. You can 
confusing everyone now. That's fine, I understand. Although I don't think that should be an S. Although it does work as one. There we go, that's right. <clears throat> This is one hell of a journey. Imagine if you didn't have a car in this, you'd be totally locked to the town you started in. There's no way you could walk this. Those paths do indeed lead to houses. That's why we're ignoring them. I want to get to a town so that we can hopefully find a library and find the book we want. The book could be there. It's true, but it takes so long to go to a house, kill the zombies there, loot it. We did stop at all the houses for a while on our last journey, and it's just, it's too much. It's too much. Increasing numbers of zombie, this bodes well. Road to nowhere. Until there's too many of them. Well, that's true. It bodes well until there's too many. This vehicle is actually quite fuel efficient. Add a right. Maybe. Wonder what this town is. It will be tricky keeping this going in town. That's why I'm trying to just go in a straight line. It's fine, I think we can make our way out of town to that road, maybe. I'm just following the main road.
Food market. Come on, bookshop. <clears throat> Wait, this looks familiar. This is the office place where we started. Remember when we started in that office? Or well, not the office, the um Like the the flats. Yeah yeah. Maybe there's a bookstore near here? Which means we've gone all the way to... Hotel and Slaughter Office, that's right. <clears throat> we've gone all the way to, um... What's that town called? Not Riverside, the other one. There must be a bookstore here somewhere. We just need to find it. Is that shops up there? Gigamart. This is illiterate town, yeah, maybe. Cafe. Bank. Police. Hmm. Hair place, insurance, dentistry, Enigma books. There it is. Let's dance. This is probably going to be a bit rough, but we can use this eatery as a base. Move chairs in front of the door. You're a very cautious fellow, Dan. I appreciate the, uh... idea behind the caution. But that is basically me saying no. If I don't find the book here, if you, you refuse to aid in another search. Yeah, if we don't find the book here, we're gonna have to just muscle our way through it. Do I have a wrench? Two sinks I can take for those. We do have the wrench. Right. 
We're getting flashbacks to our death. Rain! No! <laughs> well, shit. It's not here. It's not here. Advanced everything else is here except carpentry. Any other books of interest? Potentially? I would like to loot the entire store. This is fine. This is totally fine. Hey zombies. Made a huge mistake. <clears throat> okay, look, this is fine. We're not dead. You've got to be an optimist. Yeah, stupid undead. What books do I need? Advanced carpentry, that's literally all I care about. Listen, Alex Fisher does not run. Tactical retreats are okay, but running, I'm sorry, but they're just not. These colours don't run!
<sighs> Living the dream. Maybe they've got storage up here for more books. Yoink. <clears throat> I want to loot that bookshop. I'm not leaving without every single book inside it. If we're afraid of a few little zombies, then we're never going to get anywhere. Hmm. Ooh, a barbell. Pretty good weapon. We had much success with the barbell early in our career. I find it very hard to believe that we've not run into a single copy of Advanced Carpentry. Yoink. See, look, you guys would have had us miss out on those carrot seeds. <clears throat> would have been a crime. A crime against nature. A crime against looting. We should go into that dentistry as well, it'll be full of medical supplies. Whew. 
The system works. <clears throat> Middle of the night, huh? Perfect time for a bit of zombie killing. Zombies. They all run out the back like a bunch of losers. It's actually perfect. Yeah, you better run. Trunk's going to be full up, but that's fine. Anyone else want some? Or are you gonna leave me to my looting? Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know why I bother with these regular books, I never use them. All they do is get rid of boredom. Northwest till I find the road, then right, left, right, straight, left, right, left. Thanks, Rain. You're a true gentleman. I just can't believe we haven't found advanced carpentry. It's really starting to irk. Really? Shh. 
<laughs> now it's kind of pointless picking up multiple copies of each book. But it just makes life easier. I'm a victim of some kind of obsession with previous decisions and staying loyal to them. But we need carpentry level 6 to make stairs, and stairs are pretty important. And I don't want to level up to level 6 without the 8 times XP that the book's going to get us. Otherwise it takes 8 times as long. We're better off just finding the book, even if it takes a while. Because think about how long it takes. Think about how long it takes to go from level 4 to level 6. Then think about doing that 8 times. You're better off just finding the book. Because you find other stuff as well while you're adventuring. <clears throat> Even if it is incredibly annoying. We've got one more town we can visit. You have no concept of what's required and the timeline involved. Right. It takes for goddamn ever to level up carpentry. <clears throat> yeah, the hunt for the holy book is fun. It's forcing us to go <clears throat> out of our comfort zone. And it's getting us a ton of sweet books. And it's levelling up our strength and our peat not a pizza, I just read rain saying pizza. It's not levelling up our pizza. It's levelling up our strength. It's levelling up our fitness. It's levelling up our sneaking. It's just levelling up a whole bunch of stuff. It's totally worth it. And it's leveling up our confidence. Very important. You got to have balls in this game. <clears throat> you can't be afraid to just take on a horde of zombies. That's sexist. Yeah, true. You've got to have gumption in this game. There you go. One of my favourite words. You've got to have gumption. We've literally filled up the entire car with books again. <clears throat> but you know what? Totally worth it. Let's go home. Hope you're ready for a 15 minute drive. You say, Isai Marvin, ice in your belly. Oh, that's pretty good. God damn it, I gotta stop running into trees. Well, they're not really, we've got loads of cars. As long as it doesn't break fully, then it's fine. I mean, we could loot some houses while we're here as well, try and find it that way. But I think we just leave. Maybe wait for daylight. No, it's fine. I know where we are. We just need to follow this road until we get to the end of it, and then it'll be alright, maybe. Look, 
Look, it's that dead guy from earlier. Here we go. This is the road we want to be on. <clears throat> On the road again. Do 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 on the road again. Right, left, right, straight, left, right, left. I'm taking you on your word on that one, Rain. You better not be wrong. You better not be maliciously wrong. I'm okay with accidentally wrong. Could add a random left in there for the funsies. Yeah, totally. Sorry, zombies. I was busy taking a smoke. Hmm. So we've probably got every book in existence now, except Advanced Carpentry. Which I'm so sure we had a copy of at the beginning. Like when it was chaos and we were running around all the random houses. I'm sure we had a copy of Advanced Carpentry at some point. I'm beyond sure. But we really have checked, like, the entire hometown. Well, everywhere we've visited, anyway. This guy's living the dream. I mean, sure he has to kill zombies every so often, but apart from that, he's got a pretty good life. And he seems to enjoy it, so really, he's just got a great life. Wayne says, I'm living the dream in my couch with all my gadgets. Yeah, I'm living the dream as well. But this guy is living the dream in a zombie apocalypse. Part of me feels like we're on the wrong road. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong, Rain. I've calculated with my living expenses, because I live quite cheaply, uh, for every month that I work, 
I'm saving up enough money to pay for two months. So I figure, work for half a year, take two years off. It's the perfect plan. How does that work? Do the math again. No, no, it works. <clears throat> I guess my phrasing was wrong. For every month that I work, I can pay for that month and two extra months. <clears throat> so each month I work can pay for three months. Then half a year gives two years off. Yeah, totally. I think. Maybe. No. It gives a year and a half off. It's a two month cycle. It's a two year cycle, right? Working for a quarter of it. No. Yeah. Maybe? No, my math is totally whack. My math is super whack. It's worked half a year for a year off. God damn it. That's much less good. Maybe I need to cut down my living expenses. But that'd mean stopping smoking. That's the main... Cash drag. <clears throat> do 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 do. Left next. Awesome. I kind of want to check out that truck. I did go left. No, no, this is right, man. This is correct. I did go left. We should be coming up on that car parked in the middle of the road that I moved off to the side. Maybe. I think. You know where I'd like to reach? Muldrow. That place we started on our first good playthrough. If we could find that town, I think we could take it on pretty easily. It's a pretty pathetic town. I think we could take it on. And they've got a bookstore as well. Hey, Brian! We're on the quest. The holy quest. For the carpentry book. Mulder is seven o'clock. Okay, what we'll do is we'll go home, drop off all these books, and then we'll do a raid on Muldro and raid their library as well. I am driving seven o'clock. I'm loath to skimp on the directions and not get home. We could go to that other bookstore book and just pick up Advanced Carpentry if it's there, but we might as well get the whole bookstore, you know? <clears throat> you take that back, which way did we leave from the last bookstore? We left town from the north... 
west. Nice, nice. Rain, you make a great GPS. Yeah, this road takes us to the warehouse, right? It's all left from here on out, I think. There's our old car. Well, not our car, but it's the car we moved. God damn it. Hey, we're in third gear! We actually went into third gear for a sec. Holy cow, we must have been driving for a long time. Here's the car of doom. Whew. Here's the warehouses. Very cool. That's where we're gonna actually do the disassembling to level up our carpentry. We just need the book. free. After VAT, that will be 400 knock for hours and subscriptions. <laughs> Goddamn VAT. I can't believe we went into third gear for a sec. That's just crazy. I think we'll take out the other car on the next journey, the white car. Then we can just leave the books in this car and I don't have to haul them about. Can't believe we found the way without issues. <coughs> the only tricky part was... Um, finding the right exit from that town. If we'd, if we'd left on a different road, we would have been boned. That guy's got a spear sticking through him. Now it's straight ahead. <clears throat> Next time we're going to go out to the right on that road. You're not sure where we are on the map? Don't worry man, we know where we are. <clears throat> we're back in town. That's the gas station down there. I know exactly where we are. Any names? What's the name of that town we started in? Rosewood? Is it Rosewood? It's not Riverside.
There's a the church. <clears throat> Here's the good old police car and fire truck. We should be reaching the school. Yep, this is the school. I do need to purge a bit here, it's very true. <clears throat> I'm becoming a pro at this game. Yeah, I'm not getting bad, eh? School doesn't have books, we checked the school. We full on checked the school. Sadly it didn't have books. We're going to take this car out with us on the next journey. It's just going to save us some hassle, transferring all the books out of this one. Plus I've been kind of beating this one to shit. Right, let's do a zombie sweep. Oh, zombies! See if I can hotwire the siren and the ambulance and turn on the siren. I'm not turning on the siren on that ambulance. Must be an American school, mostly guns. We did actually find a gun in there. <laughs> right, we're home. Oh, what an adventure. He's earned a smoke, even though he doesn't need one. Right. I'll be back in a sec. I have returned. Right. Let's prepare for our next journey. We've got plenty of water. Oh, the game's starting to lag. I'm gonna have to restart it again. God damn. Damnness. Um, let's take our gas cans. I'm not going to take the empty ones. What's the point? I'll move this car a bit closer for prepping. Oh, it's full of books. <laughs> God damn it. All my cars are full of books. It's just not fair. Right. We need to forage. How's our weight doing? 94. This should have healed by now. Yeah. I should probably take more medicine with me this time. It was a bit worrying only having the one bandage. I'm sure we've got a med kit lying around here somewhere. Yeah. Right, what vehicle will we take? We could take this. This is a pretty good car. I don't think it can hold much fuel. 
Yeah. It's pretty good apart from that. If we could replace the gas tank, this would be a really good car. Replace the gas tank, replace that tire. It'd be a decent car. And it's got a huge trunk. <clears throat> Did I not move that car? Oh, I'm such a fool. What kind of conditions are it in? <clears throat> yeah, we'll take this one. We need to reinflate the tires, but apart from that, <clears throat> it's not bad. God damn it, I was hoping I could access both of their trunks at once. But it's not playing ball. Guess we'll drop it all on the floor and then transfer it from the floor in. One. I wonder what that means. <clears throat> Pops up in the corner every so often. Yeah, have an error one. It means our guy is too good and the game can't compute it. No mortal being should have this many books. Quick, throw up an error one. <laughs> I'll put them all back in the other trunk. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> <sighs> Put them all back in the wrong trunk. <laughs> right, let's switch them over. Let's just move everything in there. We can take out what we need. Is that trunk full already? Wow, that ambulance can barely hold anything. What the hell? Right, we want to keep the bandages. I really need to restart the game. Berries, disinfectant, cigarettes, empty bottle, lighter, lug wrench, screwdriver, and that's it.
Good. Then we just need to clear out the seats of that car. And we'll be living the proverbial dream. Oh, and reinflate the tyres, which we'll do now. I don't want our guy to sleep now, otherwise it's going to be night. And I don't want to go out looking for a town in the middle of the night. Might as well force him to stay awake for a while. Didn't see the stream is called Holocaust for the book. Why won't it let me inflate the tires on this? Oh, right. No, you have to do it this way. <clears throat> uh, it'd be nice to get level 1 mechanics so I could switch tires around. I should probably just blast out level 1 mechanics. On a car that we don't care about. Why does it matter if the left door's a bit banged? I don't think it does. It's just saying that window's broken. I think it makes it easier for zombies to grab us if they get up to the window. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I do need to replace that window at some point. But we don't have the key for this car, so... You know, that's a bit of a pisser. Right, we've inflated all the tires. Let's... I don't know. Forage? How'd that end up in my driveway? <laughs> uh, we broke the window, that's why the window's broken. And then we hotwired it. Because we're a burglar, we can hotwire. Really, really nice. Uh, look. Uh, info. Is it going to tell us? I don't think it is going to tell us. But as a burglar, we can hotwire stuff. Which is nice. Right, let's get berries. I should maybe get some mushrooms as well. I'm going to try and get some mushrooms. Wow, you hardly get any mushrooms. But they're pretty good, allegedly. Is there a separate book for mushrooms? Oh, I don't know if I trust eating those mushrooms. Although it doesn't say unidentified. I don't know how I feel about those mushrooms. Right, he's not sleeping. It's too early. Let's have him read. The water situation is a little bit precarious. The only reason we're okay for water is that we keep running around houses stealing it all from bathtubs. It's not ideal. More urge is needed on this second day of suffering. What does that mean? Um, we were reading Foraging for Intermediates. Let's finish that. Foraging for intermediates. Where are you? No, wait. Advanced foraging. Urge is a soda pot, and suffering refers to your smoke break. All oh, right. Okay. Understandable.
Advanced foraging, there we go. I'm also going to take those bleach bottles and those berries. And that propane torch. And those nightsticks. And that nightstick. And that lug wrench. No, we've already got a lug wrench. We do need a jack, but we've got one kicking about here somewhere. And if we do that, then on the motorway we can stop and we can level up our, um, what do you call it? Level up our mechanics to one, and then we can start switching tires about. Which will be nice. Right, we're just going to read this book for a while. God damn it. Why are we carrying too much? There we go. Read like a mofo. Until like... 11 p.m. <clears throat> water, water, water. Water is certainly going to be an issue. Not getting sleep yet. You can sleep at midnight. You can sleep at 1am. I really don't know what to do with those mushrooms. Eat them is the obvious choice. But our guy learnt herbalism, not mushroomism, so... We're carrying too much. It says bottles of bleach. Need to eat some sometime. It was fun last time. I've not tried mushrooms. I've always been loath to do so because of how many people who have tried mushrooms talk about them and how great they are. It puts me off. <clears throat> I hear you, zombie. Now's not the time. Our guy's absolutely knackered, but I will kill you. <clears throat> Rest assured, I will kill you. Our guy might be tired, but he can take on one zombie. With good prep and the right people, it's been very memorable. Yeah, I mean, some people I've talked to have made it sound okay. What a time for it to hang. Right, we'll sleep, and then I'm going to restart the game. I think it is a memory leak.
There we go, 9.30, perfect. Oh, not fog. This game does not want me finding this book. It's trying to sacri- it's trying to- trying to throw hurdles in my way. Spend the day reading. And exercising, maybe. Reading and exercising. But there's not many books we actually need to read. Um, we've read Mechanics. We've read Metalworking. We've read First Aid. We could read Farming or Electrical or Tailoring. God, imagine Tailoring. Trapping, maybe. Do I have Trapping? I'd like to actually start making some traps. <clears throat> it's better than blindly running out into the world. That's true, that's what got us killed last time. Do I have hunting... trapping, rather? I'm looking in the wrong, wrong van. I need to sort these vans out so that each van... Trapping for intermediates. Mm. We must have it somewhere. We've got two full libraries worth. We must have trapping for beginners. Then we can start getting animals. Trapping for beginners, there it is. The water situation's a little bit sketchy, but if we get too low on water, we can run to the courthouse and they've got a water cooler. <clears throat> In fact, we might have to do that before we leave on the next journey, because we're really chewing through our water. Let's finish advanced foraging first. Actually, <clears throat> if we're doing that... Let's get some exercise in as well. I'd like to level up our fitness. <clears throat> the hardest one to level. Leveling strength is fine, we just hit people. But fitness is a real pain in the butt. So if we can, we should. Yo, heave ho. Looks like the fog's dissipating. We could leave. No, let's not. Well, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. We could leave. 2 p.m.'s fine, I think. Let's do it. The water situation makes me not want to hang around. <clears throat> 2 p.m. gives us a decent amount of time until it's night. And if it becomes night when we're on the highway, it's totally fine. <sighs> and I'll keep going back into the house.
I guess I was wrong. Look, he didn't put that back in the bag. Hmm. Right. That's the water situation sorted for this journey. And we are ostensibly good to go. We've got food. That really bring three copies of Trapping for Beginners. Whatever. Um. Hey, John. I am indeed having a good time. We've got berries. We've got cigarettes. I think I put a first aid kit in there, although I can't say that for sure. Need to restart the game. Actually, I think the first aid kit's in here. No, I don't know where it is. We'll be fine without it, whatever. Um, we've got weapons. I should probably bring some more crowbars. I think we have more crowbars. We found a bunch of them in that warehouse, so we should have some kicking about. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, gas cans, we definitely want. Bucket of water is mostly empty. Crowbars. No way do we only have one gas can, that's not right. We should have way more than one. Like, way more than one. We should have three? Four? Did I put them in the driver's seat? Well, not driver's seat. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Right, we've got gas, we've got food, we've got weapons, we've got smokes. We've got fuel in our lighter. We've got a hammer, we've got a wrench. I think we're good to go. <clears throat> Let's just top up the car. Look at me getting all organized, sort of. I'm like a new man. So we've got three gas cans worth. Should be fine. On the way there, if I can, I'd like to ninja back to that beginning house and put a generator in the back of this thing. However, we're going to restart the game so it stops lagging out on us. And then, I need to figure out how to get to this other town. Hmm. Which is going to mean blindly running out into the world. We're not going to be surrounded by fog, but we are going to be running blind. Hmm. I don't feel too happy about it. Not too happy at all. In fact, you could say I feel unhappy about it. Dan said nine o'clock, that would be southwest. But he said nine o'clock from the other town. <clears throat> Which would be...
Yeah, I know, but I think it's between this town and the other town. Well, I've got nothing to back that up. I think what we do... You know the main intersection? Where we went straight ahead? And we went left and that took us to that gas place. I think we go right on the main intersection. See where that takes us. I'd love to add those cars to our collection. And there's no way I'm getting that generator. Not without cleaning up some of this mess. <clears throat> I feel like this car's slower than our other one, but I can't really judge. Maybe it's not. It's going 30 miles an hour. I didn't bother to check how fast the other one was going. Trying to keep an eye on its fuel gauge as well. Yeah, so we go right here. <clears throat> See where this takes us. <clears throat> Hopefully, it takes us somewhere safe. that sign say? Hitchhikers may be escaping inmates. Fair enough. Someone should have spray painted over inmates with zombies. Hitchhikers may be zombies. <clears throat> yeah, the prison is back in that town where we were. It's to the north of it. Um... So we're heading away from the prison. We're heading in the opposite direction to the prison. Slurp burp. I said I was going to try and get our mechanics up, but we'll do it on the way back. For now, the quest takes priority. Priority overall. I like these long big roads, the highways, they're nice and relaxing, even if they're zombies you can just drive past them. With no worries. <clears throat> hmm. I'm starting to regret taking slow driver. I mean, we still go at a decent speed, but... Imagine how fast we could go without slow driver.
Probably too fast, to be honest. This is a manageable speed. Their road works. <clears throat> Let's stay on the stay on the highway. I'm hoping we come to a T-junction where we can go this way. Then I think I would know where we are. We're gonna go left here. Oh, I'd love to mess with all these vehicles, but the quest takes priority. And the reason the quest takes priority is we need a reliable source of water. The best way to get that is to have level 7 or 6 carpentry. <clears throat> Getting sidetracked will get us killed faster, totally. Reliable source of water is what we need. So we go right at the intersection with all the cars. How many playthroughs now? Uh, I've lost count. We, we died a lot in the early game. This is our second proper playthrough, where we've actually survived longer than the first couple of days. I'm gonna keep going. If this is where I think it is, then... We should come to a gas station! And I think we did! Diner, gas station, maybe, this looks promising sort of. Isn't that the big road with a... Um... The library. No. Maybe? I think this is the town, you know? I think this is where we want to be. <clears throat> However, I'm going back onto the highway. Because if it is where we want to be, there should be a very familiar place for us to get off. Sorry, buddy. Lots of book nerds there. Yeah. If this is the right place, we should end up...
coming up on um, that warehouse that we raided. And there should be pile of crap. I'm starting to lose faith that this is the right place. I didn't think this town was this big. But maybe it is. Funny reference from the Trailer Park Boys. Oh, right, I've never watched Trailer Park Boys. <clears throat> I do think this is the right place. Sunstar Motel. Oil. Okay, oil at an intersection. We're in the right place. The bookstore is literally there, I believe. Pile of crap should be coming up on the right. There it is, pile of crap. Which means da 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 Our warehouse should be here. There's the little garage. There's that place where I died with the shotgun. There's the warehouse. Brilliant! Oh, happy days. And there's that random restaurant. Okay, great. In that case, getting uh, back home is really easy. We just go onto the highway, the same way we used to. What just broke? Something just broke. At least it wasn't a wheel. Huh, imagine that. And that's where we died. We hit that fence and flipped. We need somewhere safe to, um gather our thoughts. And I know just the place. That's a survivor cabin back there. Out of the way, zombies! Ah, old familiar! We're not staying here, but it's a pretty good place to uh, gather our thoughts and maybe steal that vat temporarily. I need to turn the engine off on our car. Dee 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 dee. <sighs> right, I'll be back in a sec.
back. Kinda miss all the upgrades we did to this place, but we're not staying here. I'm real worried an alarm's gonna go off when I go inside. You just know it. You know it's gonna happen. It's inevitable. Like Agent Smith. I guess we can turn it into a second base at some point for when we're in this town. Come on, alarm, don't go off. Praise Jesus. Carpentry for beginners. First things first, steal the water. Look around. Have a bit of a nosy. the key to that truck, that's nice. <clears throat> At least I assume it's the key to that truck. Oh, happy days. Let's see what quality that truck is. Should be in pretty good nick. No, it's a pile of trash. Could use it for ramming zombies. Then we risk the car breaking, though, in the middle of a horde of zombies. It's probably not a great idea. Nice. <clears throat> right, let's um Oh nice, I forgot there was a foraging area in here. Truly life is good. I mean, oh dear. Mm. 
Nope. Well, shit. Why did you come in here, zombie? At least we didn't get bitten. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I meant the word fuck. Yeah, totally. He ruined my foraging, that son of a bitch. Eh, at least we got some berries. I don't think I trust eating those mushrooms. Maybe once we've got a base and everything's secure, we can eat some mushrooms. You're gonna call complacency. Well, yeah, that's that's definitely what it was. I'm so used to that foraging area being secure. At least we only got scratched. It could have been worse. Could have been much worse. <sighs> now I've got no intention of staying here, but We're gonna slowly make our way into town. We're gonna stop off at that trailer park because there was a. We're not gonna do the entire trailer park, but there's one boarded up house in the trailer park. And I wanna check it out. And we'll just uh, slowly make our way down through the town, through our old haunts, until we get to the bookstore. If you just run in there like a madman, there's way too many. <sighs> right, I need to keep an eye on that bandage. At least it's not bleeding anymore. I'm treating this bandage like a king. This wound like a king. I also really want to check what broke on our car. Something did. No, I guess nothing did. Maybe I did hit a mailbox. Maybe that's what the sound was. Right.
need to top up the fuel at some point. But we should be fine for a little jaunt. Wow, this house is super boarded up. Ah, the good old trailer park. How I missed you. Tomorrow you'll do your first run of 2021. Nice! Well, maybe it's not nice that it took till now. But I haven't done any runs, so nice! Wow, this house being boarded up is a right pain in the ass. It's a smoke free exercising year. Wow, nice. Look, zombies, I'll let you out. Let me just clean out the area first. Your girlfriend comes back from South America next week, so she'll be chasing you. Nice. Right. Can I remove these boards? I should be able to. Unbarricade. Why would you barricade on the outside? Madness. Look, I said unbarricade, I didn't say take the plank. <clears throat> yeah, I sod it. Zombies, I've given you an exit. Wow, they're real stubborn, huh? <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I guess I'm coming in. You had your chance to get beaten up outside. Right, survivor houses usually have some stuff in them. <clears throat> kind of dumb how they're called survivor houses when they're all dead, but still. Spiked baseball bat, night stick, ice pick. It's not really amazing loot, but I'll take it. Guess I'll take that stuff. At some point we are going to have to start eating proper food. Nah, screw that. <clears throat> that was underwhelming, although we did get a spiked baseball bat. Which I'm hoping counts as a blunt weapon. In which case, it might actually be worth using.
Those uppercut swings are really satisfying. Let's try out the baseball bat. I doubt it'll be amazing, but it does look cool. It's got stiff competition in the crowbar. We are tired, it's not a fair comparison. Does seem to be alright though. Like, we were tired there and we were killing them pretty easily. What leveled up? Long blunt. Nice. I think it's not a bad weapon. The durability is not amazing, but that's fine. If I used it when he wasn't tired, uh, we'd have a lot better time of it. Right, I'm not clearing the trailer park. I'm just not. We'll go to the bookstore. <clears throat> Transfer a bunch of crap. I'm glad we got another nightstick. We're up to four now, I think. Maybe five? And we could arguably disassemble this whole town. <clears throat> but we might as well use the warehouse for it. We know the warehouse is safe, we can just chew through it. I should probably top up the fuel. I'm not mail truck. We want to be somewhere down here. 
Maybe the next turning off. Fork. I'm not happy about the amount of zombies here. <clears throat> I was missing you, Rain. Right, where's that big shopping area? Some guys doing whiskey and high quality chemicals said hi. Nice! I know how to get to the library if I can find that medical store. Which should be down here. <sighs> I guess this is what a town looks like when you haven't been purging it every so often. Our old famed purges. Yeah, I know where we are. <clears throat> I need to turn around. Down here. And it should be just down here. The medical building. There it is. Now, I don't particularly care about the medical building, but... If we go this way... Remember this area. Let me go here. It should be just... Uh, well, there's a construction site. It should be down here. On this road. Keep passing all these places where we died in the past. It's a bit depressing. Yeah, here it is. Somewhere. Somewhere in here. Back on the highway. Should be a car park here, and then it should be just above this car park. <clears throat> Maybe? I don't know. I feel like my directions are way off. It's definitely in this vicinity. Definitely around here somewhere. I'm chewing through fuel. I'm not happy about that. It's 
definitely around here somewhere. I need somewhere where I can stop and refuel. I have to fight my way into town, you know? I'd just like to know where we're aiming for. I really thought it was here. relatively safe here. Maybe it's there? No, that's just greens. <clears throat> it's a shame that when we went there last time, I'd only just started playing the game, so I didn't have an overwhelming knowledge of how to slot things together on the map. Plus, we were running from a million zombies at the time. Let's just start fighting our way up. It's going to conserve fuel. Yeah, the durability on this bat isn't amazing. But the damage is nice. Damage is really nice. <sighs> Very cool. We are the cure to the zombie virus, and we are infecting this town. Zombies, you gotta stop walking into this roadway. It's not good for your health. Very cool. <clears throat> I 
I know it's up here somewhere. I know it is. I just don't know where. Which means a lot of experimental killing. This is fine. This is not fine. This is fine. Struggle is real. For them. <sighs> this is going to break. Zombie just left. It was like, sod that. Look, zombies, you really gotta just quit it. You would carry a shield and axe. Yeah, a shield would be really good to have. Wear a full suit of armor and you'll be rocking. <clears throat> right, we're relatively safe. Our guy's tired. Great. I'll be right back.
I am back with a delicious milkshake. <clears throat> we need some to sleep. We need somewhere to sleep. Somewhere that isn't going to get us killed. Zombies, you gotta cut it out. I might have to leave town and come back, you know? Sleep on the highway. I really don't want to. Zombie, come here. Do the old trick that I don't necessarily trust. Now, according to Dan, the font of all wisdom. The zombies can't get us. I don't know how true that is. I'm not going to let him sleep yet. Uh, maybe I will. Yeah, okay. After he has a smoke. <sighs> Baseball bat still got some hits in it, but not many. I left all the water in the trunk. If you can't open the door, the zombies can't reach in. Okay, good. We're literally flat up against the side. I'm going to switch back to the crowbar because otherwise that other bat is going to break at some inopportune time. No, actually, I'll put the crowbar on the back and we'll hold that in our hands. That works quite well. Then when it breaks, we can just switch to the crowbar. <clears throat> Hey Dan, I can't find the bookstore. I thought I knew where it was. Remember we went there ages ago? Can't find the damn thing. I thought I went the right way. I went onto Main Street. But uh, I've ended up totally lost. I am in Muldrow, yeah. We even went back to the isolated house and uh, relaxed there for a bit. Uh oh. Oh, good. As long as that didn't infect. God damn zombies with their alarms. Store four blocks nine o'clock from pizza. Yeah. 
I'm taking it slow and steady. Bit of a risk at night, but it should be okay. It's further south. Really? From the legal services? Is it that far away? Legal services and Tattoo 42. Hey Zoltando, good afternoon to you. This is not good. Next is restaurant, then mall. What? Down this way? Yeah, yeah, there is a grocery. Correct. You're a good egg, Dan. You're a good egg. I would have fought my way up there for hours. I was sure it was up there somewhere. Probably wait till day. And again, nighttime raids have always worked pretty well for me. <clears throat> Turn on AC. Will that drain the fuel? Okay, I'm not turning on AC. It's too weird. Oh, I've got items on the seat. I did just turn it off. I'll uh, just remove some clothes instead. <clears throat> I don't want to risk losing fuel. Wait, you can roll down the windows. Look, you're not trashing my car, zombie. Let's just get out of here. There's the grocery. So it's this building. And it's second from the end, you said, right? Right, we'll leave in town until daytime. Very cool.
Um. Let's get a book. Let's get a bottle of bleach. Let's get back in. We can spend the night reading. It's rain, better cut it out. I hear a zombie. Nice try, zombie. Do you have any friends around here? Hey Dan, mushrooms, are they dangerous? <clears throat> I'm not sure if the herbalist tells us if they're dangerous or not, because they're not really herbs, but maybe it does. Uh, it's just a light rain, it just looked worse than it was at night. No idea, but with luck you might see some weird stuff, yeah. I'm holding off on eating them because we've got berries, but in an emergency. Yep, that damn book comes my way soon. Me too, man. Me too. We found... Uh, what we need. Well, we found the bookstore. All mushrooms chance of poisoning. Right, I'm not eating them then. Let's top up the fuel. I'm a little bit worried about how fast the fuel's draining. More than a little bit worried. How much did one can fill it up by? A quarter. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady has worked well for us in the past. Let's keep it up.
can't believe we've been looking for this book for five hours plus a whole bunch of yesterday. Like we're a wizard looking for a rare magic tome. Yeah. <clears throat> However, we have had decent decent adventures in the meantime, so it's not a total write-off. But it is a pain in the ass. The real carpentry book was the friends we made along the way, which in this case is none. Yeah, totally. Looking to escape blame for failure. <laughs> he knows old Tando is going to claim 5% of the credit when we find the book. Although I think Rain deserves a whopping 33% of the credit. Rain has been good moral support for this quest. Locked in long term credit stops early. <laughs> nice. Can we exchange that for a job for your niece? No. <laughs> All rewards are non transferable and have zero monetary value. Ah, stopped raining. That's a good sign. We're getting back into the swing of things. We're using our crowbar. That baseball bat was okay, but I was too worried about the durability on it. It had me constantly concerned. Being back to the good old crowbar just feels right. Everyone's favourite weapon. <clears throat> Come on, scumbags. Try and kill them all on one side of the road. Take a little breather, let him have some berries. <clears throat> Do a little bit of light reading. I said, do a little bit of light, oh we've read it all. <clears throat> well, shoot. Okay, I guess we'll just sit on the floor like a loser. There we go. <sighs> Sorry, zombies. <clears throat> You had me scared for a sec. 
a while back. When we were in that alleyway, I actually thought <clears throat> we were doomed. I thought I'd pushed my luck too far. <clears throat> I was ready to eat some humble pie. <clears throat> but it didn't happen. Easy does it. Kind of want to check out that car. We might replace this one. This car's pretty good, but if you can find a replacement, I'll be very happy. There's the diner. Did Dan say turn at the diner? Hmm. God, it feels good to be using this crowbar again. I know the baseball bat's technically better. It doesn't feel bad. We can probably get some water from that diner, which will be nice. Good. Also, I really want to check out that car. Not just now, though. We're a little bit tired. Boo! 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 Thank God it didn't do that. Gonna get sleepy, huh? Mm. It's nowhere safe for us to sleep, really. I should take these lighters and matches. I've been ignoring them, but for the long term, I absolutely should take them. So it's up there, right? It's a shame we don't have a tent. We could have set one up in the diner. A tent would be really nice. Look, I see you, zombie. I know you're in these trees. Come out, come out! Very 
very cool. Now, I'm not going to say we're safe to sleep here. But maybe we are? No, let's not be crazy. Let's at least sleep a little bit far away. This is fine. We're definitely not going to wake up being bitten. Here's a question. Wait, the back seat. If I'm in the back seat, I guess they can break the window. But there's no door. Think about it. It's the perfect crime. Please wake up. Okay, that's fine. Then I can't go out either. That's true, but I can transfer to the, either of these seats and run out. I mean, zombies don't get in... That better be that group from before, it better not be a new group. I think it is the group from before. Good. Come on. Nothing better than a crowbar. Come on. Everyone join the party. I really hope that other car is good. Oh, it wasn't that group from before, it was another group. Oh, there's a gas station here. Shame we didn't bring a generator. <laughs> I 
Right, after that group, we're safe to check out the car. All this just to check out a car. Probably an absolute junker as well. Yeah, it is. Compared to our one, anyway. Screw that car. <clears throat> right. Now Dan said, turn off at the diner. Is that true? I feel like it isn't. Unless it meant after the diner. Go south. Is it really south from there? I thought it was up there. But then again, we've proved I don't know where I'm going. I'll trust you. <clears throat> Gas station, half a block, six o'clock from diner. See when you say six o'clock? Yeah, it totally is. It totally is. I thought it was down there, which would have been... But yeah, yeah, it is there. Correct. We really want to be going this way. Doesn't feel right, but... Are you sure, Dan? To get to the bookshop? I can't help but doubt Dan, because this doesn't look... I doubt Dan too much. Let's go that way. <clears throat> Even though I'm pretty sure it's up here. I am also wrong quite regularly. Gas station is down, bookshop is four blocks, two o'clock. See? This is why you doubt Dan. We're clearly looking for the bookstop, bookshop. Why we're getting directions to the gas station is beyond me. <clears throat> Go back and reread what you actually wrote. Go south. Gas station, half a block, six o'clock from diner. Straight down. I never asked for the gas station, man. I literally never asked for the gas station. I said it's a shame we didn't bring a generator, because then we could have used the gas station.
Drawing a crowd! That's actually quite a crowd. Totally manageable. Maybe. Double push, that's never a good sign. <laughs> Whew! Tell ya, it's a good job I'm so great. That's why you slowly fight your way in. <sighs> this nighttime malarkey is not cool. So it may prove beneficial. I wonder what that building is. A restaurant. What leveled up? <clears throat> Sneaking. Hey, I'll take that. The more sneaking we have, the better. Okay, those guys can live. Even though they might come back to literally bite me in the ass, they can live for now. I don't like this nighttime shenanigans. But I'm also not willing to wait till morning. We need to make progress, and that means fighting in the pitch black. Alternatively, we check out those cars. Hmm. Sod it, let's wait. As much as I don't want to. It's gonna be the right call. Stop training! Oh, I bet it starts again. <laughs> Slow. 
slow and steady. On Zombras. I like how in the middle of a zombie fight he's like, man, I could use a smoke. He's really got his priorities in order. a junker. It looked in much better condition from uh, further away. Hey! Electronics! Maybe looks are deceiving. Maybe only the outside is dented. No, it's trash. Wouldn't mind stealing some of its tires, though. Nah, they're value tires. F that. Value tires. The tires of losers. This looks in pretty good condition. It's got a tiny little dent. No, it's trash. Got damn misleading vehicles. <clears throat> What about this one? I want a replacement. No, it's trash. It's got some fuel though. Tiny amount. Alright, those guys can live. We're going up the main road. Do 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 do. Uh, cool. It's a large group, but we can take them. Don't appreciate this fog. I really don't appreciate this fog. This is a real bad time for the fog to show up. There are a few days from the antidote. Why am I doing that? Oh, that's funny. Fog is going to be brutal. I'm not spending an entire day with the fog, like just sitting around doing nothing. <clears throat> Otherwise, they're going to start respawning, and I'm not not dealing with no respawns.
Maybe I should. See, I'm out looking for trouble. I am looking for trouble. It's a risky strat. The game's throwing everything it can at me to stop me getting to this bookstore. Which just makes me even more inclined to try and get there. But this fog is real bad. Is it real bad for them as well, though? Takes about half a day for the fog to clear, right? Or it did last time. Rain says this is turning into one of those series that has too many seasons and it ends up with them creating their own problems to keep the story going. No! <laughs> this is. I don't know what this is, but it's not that! That implies that I am artificially creating drama. When in reality, I just want this damn book. can't progress forward. I at least knew that squad was there. I don't think I can justify walking forward any further until the fog's gone. As depressing as it is, I think we're going to have to wait out the fog. In the back seat. At least we've got plenty of water. we got lots of water from that diner. I'm kind of just picking on the zombies at that point. Yeah, at this point. Yeah, it does feel that way sometimes. But then sometimes, like when they got me in that alley, it doesn't feel like that. But I am starting to feel like some sort of zombie exterminator. Can't help but start to root for the zombies. That's fair. Did I find the holy book yet? I did not. And the game's throwing everything it can in my way to stop me getting it. This would have been the day if this fog hadn't started. Hopefully it clears up. <sighs> Come on, fog, please go away.
Our guy's getting bored. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're getting the book before night time comes. As long as it's in the library. We're getting the library before night time comes. And if it's not in the library... Then I don't know where else we can look for it. Time to pick on some zombies. You do kind of have to feel bad for them. Our guy has become a menace to society. See a zombie, I kill it. It's a simple life. So much for my plan of keeping them all on one side of the road. Take no risks, kill them all. And that's not where we want to be. That's the police station. Which we're not raiding. As tempting as it is. This is strictly business. Okay, those few can live. I'm going against my inner instincts. That one's leaving, they can live. Right, they're walking towards me. Changed my mind. Yeah, you better run. It's too late, zombie. You've shown your intentions. Right. God damn it. We're getting close. God damn it. I can't give up on the plan.
I have to kill every goddamn zombie in this town to get that book. I'm doing it. Enough is enough. I am Captain Ahab. <clears throat> and advanced carpentry is my white whale. Unlike Ahab. <clears throat> I will have victory. Actually, I'm not sure if Ahab did win. I haven't finished Moby Dick yet. I'm about halfway through. <clears throat> <laughs> no one can stop the quest. Berries, screw you. Fine, we'll eat some non fresh berries. It's going to add to our unhappiness, but smoking fixes that. And it's going to add to our boredom, but fighting zombies fixes that. So it's totally fine. Much as I would love to forage, I don't think there's much forage. Well, never mind. Let's forage. But let's kill these guys first. And I should be resting before killing these guys. But I just want them dead. Hey, someone leveled up. Awesome. Probably nimble footed or light feet or whatever it's called. I'm gonna be a bit worried if any more zombies come out of those woods. See if we can get any berries before zombies show up. Fifteen, that'll do. Definitely getting close ish. Hey, look, there's a key on the floor. I'll take that. Yoink. 
Right, we need to rest. The old spin to win. Fuck. Our guy got bloody tired again. Ah! That means we need to sleep and then it's going to be night. But you know what? We're at the store. In that building. It's in that building. Hey, this car's in pretty good condition. And it's got fuel. Right, I'll kill these. No, I won't. Right, we'll withdraw. I think we're gonna change to that car. It's the same model, but I think it's in better condition. And it's got a key. It's gonna be night. I hear a zombie. Please wake up. Nice try, zombie. Not on my watch. was indeed playing with fire. But you know what? It worked. And we're replacing this car anyway, so sod it. Now you would think, as I'm replacing this car, I could just run over a bunch of zombies with it. But I kind of want to keep it alive just in case. Right, we're actually at the bookshop. We've made it. In the middle of the night, which is not when I wanted to get here. But we have made it. The Operation Cleaner Pathway there has worked quite well. Zombie, stay away from my car, man. Red knife sticking out of her. Nighttime is the worst. It really is. You have a job interview on Monday. Do you want to be a whore and suffer in a new job or keep the evil you know and do well? It's not easy. No, it's not. If I get fed up of a job, I tend to just quit and then um, then look for a job. Then I don't have that dilemma. But it's a very risky strategy. You like money. Yeah, I know, right? Just uh, do your job interview. Get them to offer you a job, and then go to your current company and say, Look, I'm leaving, unless you give me a pay rise. That's the best way. It's 
definitely the best way. Definitely. It's the only it's the only way to get a decent pay rise from a company you work at. Otherwise they'll be like, here, have two percent. Whereas if you say, look, these guys are offering me like a twenty percent upgrade, you gotta match it, they'll go, okay, because they don't want to train up someone new. <clears throat> And if they say no, then you just switch to the other job, because you know they're never going to give you a pay rise. Because if they won't give you it under pressure, then they're not going to give you it when they're not under pressure. Almost feels like extortion. It is extortion. And you don't owe them anything. It's just a renegotiation of terms. <sighs> yeah, man, do it. One, uh, one of my colleagues just did that. They kept asking for a pay rise, and the company kept saying, no, we can't afford to give you a pay rise, not in the current work climate or whatever. So they went and did a bunch of job interviews, got a job offer, and then said, look, fuck you guys, I'm leaving. And they said, no, no, don't do that, we'll match, we'll match the salary. It's like, okay, brilliant. Now you can do it without actually getting the other job offer, you can just pretend you have. But then if they call you a bluff, then you're kinda screwed. So it's always best to actually get the job offer. But when you do get the job offer... You can always add a few grand to what they're gonna pay you. <clears throat> and try and get them to match that instead. They've got no way of knowing. Yeah, exactly, man. They have the money. They're just being cheapskates. As soon as they know someone else will pay that much for you, they'll happily pay it. The interview was also initiated by them, so you can use them like that. Yeah, totally. You can even play them off against each other. That's what uh, one of the other guys... One of the other guys I used to work with did. He would get the job off her, and then he would go back to the company and say, look, I'm going to leave because I've just been given this offer for this much money. And then they'd say, we'll match it. We'll match it. And he'd go, well, matching it isn't good enough, sorry, because they offered first. And they'll go, okay, I'll give you an extra grand. And then he goes, well, I'll go and talk to the other guys. And then he goes to the other guys and goes, look, my current job has offered me some extra money to stay. And they'll go, well, don't worry. We'll offer you some extra. And he just keeps bouncing back and forth between them until nobody will pay him anymore. He's an absolute genius, that guy. <clears throat> and he's really good at his job. Which probably helps. It's devilish and clever, it is. He gets them into a bidding war. Whereas a lot of people will just meekly stay in a company and be like, well, they say they can't afford to give me a pay rise. It's like, no, fuck them. You know? If they can't afford to pay you what you think you're worth, then sod them. Your whole body tingles, so you're doing that. Yeah, man. And the thing is, there can be no downside from it, right? There can be absolutely no downside from it. So one thing I'm a big fan of, it's ensuring that companies don't screw you over when it comes to salary. 
I doubled my salary over the course of two years just by playing mind games with them. It's the best way to do it. <clears throat> right, we're actually going to get this book. However, we're going to kill a few more zombies up the way because we need to bring the car up so that we can load in all the books. Now, we are relying on Dan being correct. I've never actually been in here and seen the bookstop. The bookshop. So I'm very much reliant on Dan being correct, which is always a risk. It's possible he's led us to, like, the cheese factory. But allegedly it's in here. Come on, break down your door. Dan does seem very knowledgeable in this game. He might be doing your approach with two-thirds truth. Yeah, maybe. Thank you. Now that is not the bookshop. I just wanted to clear it out just for safety. The bookshop is the next one. Come on, zombie, I'll let you out. Bookshops are death traps. They certainly seem to be. I don't like how it says Felice on the window. That doesn't instill faith. Aha! Good old Dan. <sighs> I'm not even checking them. I'm bringing the car up. I don't want to check it. I'm going to get too disappointed. I'm delaying it because I know I'm going to be disappointed when it's not in there. I'm delaying it. You also want to join the people countering hedge fund stocks. Could be satisfying. Yeah, true. True certainly could be. A bit risky, but... You know, no risk, no reward. It is an interesting tale, the GameStop one. That guy's got a nightstick through him. He's been impaled on a nightstick. So much for it not doing damage. Look at that. Okay, 
here. Those zombies can live as long as they leave me alone. They have like five companies they're working on. Nokia, GameStop, plus a few others. Oh, really? Are you ready to be disappointed? There it is! Hallelujah! 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 Screw the rest of these books, man. Screw them. Nah, not screw them. Let's get them. I went to all this effort. What now? Now we go back to that warehouse and we dismantle the entire thing. But at least there's no zombies there. It's gonna be a nice break from all this murdering. I'm not looting that entire book, stop. I can't be arsed. I just can't be arsed. Right, I'll be right back. Then we're going to transfer all our stuff into that other cart, and we're going to take that, because it's in slightly better, slightly better uh, condition. Rain says, purging makes a man just want to do some crafts and reading. Totally. I've had enough of killing zombies for now. Every man has his limit, and it turns out mine is. Uh... One thousand three hundred and thirty-seven. Perfect! What a great number of zombies to have killed! One three three seven. I couldn't have planned that better, man. Get out of here, T-shirt. Is the fog coming back? Return of the fog. Screw that fog. We're out of here. Although I do want to check the tire quality on this. We are definitely taking this car, but... The tire quality might make me stay for a little bit longer. Where's my berries? Oh, there they are. Right. We probably need to inflate the tires, but... Oh no, they're all in decent condition. They're value tires. Ugh. Goddamn value tires.
New car, new car. Exactly the same as the old car. But I don't care. Why wouldn't he transfer anything? Oh, he did. Never mind. <coughs> and we've got a key for this car, so that's awesome. I left off cigarettes in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so happy. So relieved. The burden is complete. Let's inflate the tires and then get out of here. <sighs> oh, happy days! Now complacency will take hold if I don't get a new set of objectives. We have an objective. Build a base at the gas station. Build a base at the gas station. Can't let complacency beat us. The only issue I had with the gas station is we can't forage there. But that's okay because we can go out on foraging runs. I also want to learn how to trap so that we can get some real animals to eat, so that we're not just eating berries. We need to extend our diet because our weight. Well, it's down to 92, but it is going down. We need some venison. Well, yeah. I don't think we can trap deer. That would be nice, though. A bit low on well no we're not low on water but this is why we need to get carpentry up and then build a base because <clears throat> water we're currently scavenging it from everywhere we go which is fine but it's not a long-term solution oh before I leave can't forget. Steal all the gasoline from this one. <clears throat> it had its day in the sun. Now it's a junker. It's actually in pretty good condition, but... not in as good condition as that one. 
It was, but then we uh, kind of kicked the shit out of it. It was on like 90 something percent when we found it. It's now on 77. I really tore the shit out of it. It's got performance suspension though. We might want to bring it back to the base for parts once we've actually got the base set up. What does this one have? Please don't have value suspension. Regular. Regular brakes. Value tires. It's got a performance muffler, which means it's a, lo a lot quieter. Allegedly. Let's find out. Yo, heave ho, let's go. I feel like it's not a lot quieter, but maybe the other one had a performance muffler as well. <clears throat> Going home! Catch you later, zombies! You guys survived the purge. Well done. On the road again. <laughs> awesome. We're going to have to move all our vehicles to the new base. There's also probably going to be a ton of zombies there. We'll have to ruin our 1337 kills. We're also going to strip all these cars for parts at some time. Once we've got our garage set up. <clears throat> And I think I know the way home. We just follow this road, basically. We should reach another intersection, and we go left at it. It's a hell of a drive, though. It is a hell of a drive. My W key is going to be taking some punishment. But now we know, sort of, how to get to two different towns, and a random gas station, and <clears throat> the military base. <clears throat> so that's pretty good. Truly we're becoming a real survivor. And our hair has grown back. Very cool. Mm -hmm. 
Wonder if we'll reach third gear on this highway. The fabled third gear. I think they should have manual and automatic vehicles, and if they're manual you should have to manually do the gears. I think that would be cool. There's probably a mod for that. <clears throat> and if there isn't, there should be. Not that I mod. <clears throat> but that would be a pretty good mod. <clears throat> right, we should be coming up on the prisoners, hitchhiker the prisoners sign, which means we're almost back. Realism should start with crowbars not breaking. I think if he used a crowbar enough it would break. I'll grant you it maybe breaks a bit fast. Straight to business, we're going to the warehouse. <clears throat> then again, I don't know if I brought a saw with us. Straight to business, we're going home. I feel like I did bring a saw. <clears throat> hey zombies, chill out for a sec. I didn't bring a saw. Okay look, I will admit that was foolish. <clears throat> Not that foolish, though. Dee -dee 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 -dee. We didn't bring a saw. How long till I knacker this car? <clears throat> it's 
only a matter of time. Oh, I'm so glad we found that book. Sorry, zombies. <coughs> dee 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 dee. I don't know which journey was longer, that one or the one to the other town, but they both felt pretty damn long. First of all, zombie check. Are there any zombies around the house, or have they learnt their lesson? Oh, that's looking pretty fine. Good! <clears throat> <clears throat> I feel at peace. Now, we're a bit low on water. Was there any left in that bath? Very good. Our baths are really good for it. Doesn't make much sense. It's not like the bath is full of water. It's still just a pipe. But that's fine. <clears throat> right. Next thing we need to do, which we'll do before we head out, is read that book. <clears throat> Oh yes. It's been a long time coming. And then I want to fill up that car with all the essentials we would want for starting a new base. And then we'll go and tear down the warehouse. That'll hopefully level us twice. Ideally, we want three times, but that's unlikely. <clears throat> Let's do some exercises. I've been skimping on the exercises. We're not going to be fighting anyone for a while. So we can afford to have a bit of exercise fatigue. Cool. <clears throat> We're just going to read the entire book.
It's a shame we've got slow reading, but it's worth it. You don't actually have to read that often. I hear a zombie. Now's not a good time to be hearing zombies. I guess we'll go out and clear them out, even though our guy's super tired. I'm not sleeping with a zombie nearby. <clears throat> I do have some standards. Plus it'll get rid of his boredom. doing in my house what an asshole <clears throat> wakey wakey should have set him an alarm that's fine though <clears throat> Right. It's time to put together the car of doom. I want everything in that backpack. <clears throat> I want expert carpentry. I know we've got expert carpentry somewhere. I know I said that about advanced, but we really do have expert. There we go. Um, I want to take all our nails. I'll take some bandages. <coughs> Zomboid, the great book hunt. Yeah, totally. Um, what I really need to do is not create the pile of doom, but create something similar. Like, trapping for beginners I want to take. Let's read this quickly. We can read this really quickly, it's just a pamphlet. <clears throat> right, we don't need that. Let's read this as well. Then we don't need that. We don't need rotten mushrooms. We want a lug wrench. We don't need the ice pick. We don't need how to use generators. We don't need gorilla radio. Uh, we don't need smoke bomb. We don't need timer. We don't need carpentry for intermediates. We don't need ammo, or these shitty books. And let's just drop this stuff off in this black van. 
which is almost full. We want that, we want that, we want that. We want that. We want that and that. We want those. We want that. We want that. <clears throat> it's going to be awkward sorting this stuff out. I think I'm going to... Okay, here's what we'll do. Well, first of all... Too many vehicles. Let's move a bunch of stuff we don't care about into there. Then I'm going to empty this backpack into one of these seats, the front right seat. So that's our main backpack. Everything in there we want to keep on us. Except for maybe the bleach. Bleach bottles. Now we can just use the entire backpack for moving stuff out. We don't care about that. We don't care about that. I'll take advanced trapping. We'll take the peas. We'll take the gas cans. We'll take the lighter and the lug wrench. Yeah, we want everything in there. Everything. Except maybe the peas and potatoes. Screw those. Right, I think we've... Cleared out this car of everything that we don't want to take. Mostly. Then, we just go around all our other cars looking for stuff where we're like, yeah, we want to take that. <clears throat> for example, I want to take an axe. I want to take all our nails. We don't need the seeds yet. I'll take the bucket of water. Take the gas cans. Let's read that right now. Then we can uh, put it back. Don't need the fertilizer. We'll take the propane tank. We'll take the shovel. Let's read that. Right, and we don't care about anything else in there. At least for now. What about stuff in here? <clears throat> Don't care about any of that. Did I already take a copy of Expert Carpentry? Who knows? <clears throat> we'll 
take trap in for intermediates. We'll read that. Oh, it's good not killing dudes for a while, seriously. Make mildew cure, make flies cure. Farming magazine. I hear a zombie. Uh, don't care about any of those books, I think. Oh, actually. Metal work. We need a, um... <clears throat> what do you call it? A jack. Transfer all. <clears throat> we need to take a jack with us. Because I want to train up mechanics as well. <clears throat> and that's going to mean... Uh, doing a bunch of wheel changes on a random car. We should do some foraging before we leave as well. Make sure we've got a decent amount of berries. Red metal work for beginners. I want to take some more. No, mechanics. I want. I want mechanics books. Mechanics for beginners. We've read. Mechanics for intermediates. I doubt we'll reach master. Let's not bother. That should do. Right. What about this car? Is there anything in here we want to take? I'll take a bandage. Take a hiking bag, you never know. An extra bag might come in handy. We'll take all those nails. We'll take this food. Um. Take those gas cans. I've already almost filled up this car. <clears throat> That's okay though, because we've got pretty much everything we need. Now I'm just adding extra stuff that we might want. <clears throat> that we might want. Our garbage bags. Ooh. A generator. That's annoying. We definitely want to take a generator. Which means...
we need to make a ton of space in the boot. Which means we need to move everything off the seat, so we probably can't take anything else. Except probably a jack. Um, let's put all that on there. I feel like I've gone a bit overboard with the gas cans. Right. Oh my god. If we want to take a generator, we have to take literally everything out of that trunk. Okay, that's fine. Um, yoink. <clears throat> And that is going to let us, when we go to the power sta when we go to the gas station, <clears throat> we can hook that up, and then make a ton of gas, hopefully. And that should be everything we need. It better be because we've got no more space in the car. Oh look, a little zombie going for a swim. Right, it's night time, but let's go. I'm gonna go this way, there's less zombies. Oh, God damn it. That is a sturdy fence. Dee 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 dee. Ah, this is nice. I'm hoping 
we can get some water at the uh, warehouses. We do have plenty of water, but I don't know if, how long it'll last us. Oh, night time. It's the worst. <sighs> right, up here we take a right, and then that leads us straight to the warehouse. Where's the warehouse before the right? I guess it's just down here. And there's hopefully zero zombies here. There was no zombies here last time. Which actually makes it a really good location for a base, because if zombies don't spawn there, then it's amazing. But where's the fun in having a base where there's no zombies? Where's the fun in that, I ask you? I think there might have been one zombie last time. Let's just make sure. Let's do the rounds. Oh, zombie! Sure is starting to look like no zombies spawn here, which makes it a ridiculously good place. You can just have eternal peace of mind. It's even got foraging areas. Ooh. Awfully tempting. We could turn these into garages. The only thing is we wouldn't have the fuel pumps here. But we've got so many gas cans that we could do fuel runs, go to the petrol station, steal all the fuel, and then come back. It's a bit of a drive to the main road. That's the main awkward thing. Hmm... Hmm. Well, for now, ugh, there's no water. For now, we're going to forage, because I forgot to forage before we came out here. could build a base here. Hmm. It's not the worst idea. It's 
Shame there's no vehicle here for me to practice my mechanics on, because I'm not doing it on our car. Right. What do we need? A hammer. <clears throat> I didn't bring a saw. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Look, <clears throat> I may have made a mistake and not brought a saw. Maybe there was a saw in one of these? Usually I don't loot multiple saws. Oh, thank God. Oh. Right, this is going to be dark. But it's fine, so we're just going to be dismantling stuff. Throwing stuff on the ground. Ooh, we need a hammer as well. I thought I picked up a hammer. <clears throat> no, I, I was going to pick up a hammer and then I got distracted by the saw question. Right. Mass disassembling time. <sighs> now, this may not be as exciting as killing a million zombies. But it is something different. We spent like five hours killing zombies earlier. See, even with the 8 times multiplier, how much this is making our um, carpentry go up. Imagine if we had to do this 8 times as much. Wouldn't bear thinking about. That's why the book was so important. Just dump everything on the ground. Very cool. <clears throat> now a guy's gonna get real bored doing this, but it doesn't matter. He can just suck it up. I'm also not going to let him smoke, because I'm a real bastard. Mm 
guess I'll let him eat though. I'm not that bad. There is a case to be made that if I'm uh, thinking about turning this place into a base, <clears throat> I should probably not disassemble all these crates. But I don't believe in that philosophy. <clears throat> we can make our own crates. Looks like we'll get at least one level from all this. Maybe two. If we don't get to, it'll definitely be a close thing. <clears throat> he's getting sad, he's getting bored, he's getting tired, he's getting agitated. I don't care. I wonder if um, if we take paint with us, if we can like paint markings on the road to show us where the towns are. That'd be pretty good. <clears throat> now we do need two more levels, ideally. Mm-hmm. 
All right, we've almost cleared out this entire place. Then I guess we'll let him sleep. Much as it pains me to do so. Let him have a smoke, let him have a sleep. This is two floors up. That's really interesting. Um, yeah. He's earned it, I guess. I wonder if one smoke gets rid of all that anxiety. No. Well, shoot. Look, go on a smoking binge. Uh oh. I may have gone a bit extreme on the whole, uh. pushing him to his limit thing. As long as he doesn't kill himself, it's all good. Maybe some foraging will spice up his day. Kind of did, you know? <clears throat> Let's let him sleep. Sleeping out in the open, some would say that's risky, but there's no zombies here, so sod it. Now he gets a fun day of doing it all again. I guess today I'll let him smoke when he wants one. I hope unhappiness is relatively easy to fix. He's not having a good time of it. Right, a little drive will get rid of his boredom. Maybe that'll help get rid of his unhappiness. Probably not the best place for doing mechanics. Hmm. 
Should have brought him some cool stuff. Some stuff for helping with his depression. Didn't expect him to get quite so depressed. Get one XP for failing to remove the window. How much do we get for succeeding? Three XP. Try and get mechanics up to one. Real worried about our water situation. We're down to our last bleak bottle of water, which means we might have to. We might have to uh, stop off at one of those houses. There's plenty of them we can do. But it is something we might have to do. Mm. We almost certainly do have to. God damn it, I hate this car. Right, I'll be right back.
back. Wonder if there's any good way to deal with him being sad without doping him up. I'd rather not dope him up. Right, I'm just gonna roll a cigarette by the way. Dog. Oh, if we could get him a dog, that'd be great. They need to add animals to this, like, it just being you and the zombies is a bit... not great. Like, farms... should have farm animals, that'd be cool. Then you could ride a horse, but you had to keep feeding the horse, that'd be nice. Um... Like, dogs, which have gone rabid, but you can tame one, or maybe start with the dog. Uh... Yeah, it'd just be cool. It'd be really cool. But I think they want to add people first, which makes sense. <clears throat> it's so funny how there used to be NPCs in this game and then they took them out. And now everyone's like, please add them back. Examine unlearned skills. Any hobbies there? No, unfortunately not. We can make him take antidepressants. I think it goes up over time. I know every time he has a smoke it goes up a little bit because we've got him as a smoker. So even though smoking is only supposed to reduce your stress, because he's a smoker it increases his happiness as well. So that's pretty nice. But I'm not just going to sit there and smoke every single cigarette we've got just to stop him being unhappy. Alright, the water situation. Let's go raid a farmhouse. That's a really good location for a base, except that it's so far away from everything else. The fact that there's zero zombies there makes it really... ...good for a base. I need to restart the game. It's starting to hang. Is that...? No. I thought that was a dirt track, but I think it's just mud. Hey zombies! What's up here? I don't think we ever went up here. We're looking for a house, any house. While we're there, we can dismantle it as well. Hmm. 
Where's this go? We're way off the beaten path now. Hopefully there's like a farmhouse out here. That'd be good. Then we can dismantle the farmhouse and probably get some water. On the way back, we'll uh, dismantle those cars. There's a lot of farmland here. There must be a farmhouse here somewhere. Zombies, huh? Come on, there must be a farm. God damn it. I was just looking for a single house. Getting low on fuel. <clears throat> I mean, we've got loads of fuel, but still. It's not ideal, is it? What is this place? Another set of warehouses. Cool. Very cool. I need to get back to where there's no zombies. Or at least fewer zombies. Yeah, this will do. Where's my weapon? And my weapons are in the car. Whew. 
Right. Um... Yeah, careful indeed. I want to see what that trailer is. Can I can I steal it and attach it to my car? If I can, that'd be great. This area is, it's a bit crazy. How do I remove that trailer? Maybe from inside the car? Maybe I unhook it? I don't see any option to do it here. Oh no, there we go. <clears throat> oh, look at this! It's damaged to hell and back. These random journeys are great. Right, can I get water out of these? Probably not. God damn it. No! Need a propane torch. Sprinting leveled up. Nice. Right, I need to top up the car with fuel. I might need to go to the um, petrol station sooner than I was hoping. The gas station. We don't have as much fuel stored up as I thought we did. 
Unless there's more in the trunk. Which there may very well be. One there. No. So we've got one can of fuel left. Hmm. We might have to go to the petrol station. Right, I'll be back in a sec. We're way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, the only way I know to get back is to backtrack our steps, which is going to be pretty awkward. However, there are a ton of warehouses up there, which I'm pretty happy about. sadness does you know it's supposed to make you perform actions slower but it doesn't seem to affect how fast we swing our weapon and I'm okay with everything else being slower maybe we'll find some antidepressants in these houses we can just dope him up. Hey zombie. We can get water from these houses. Come on. Did you know the zombies deteriorate over time? So the longer the game's been going on, the uh, weaker the zombies are. I think respawn zombies won't have deteriorated, but like, if a zombie's been around for a while it becomes super weak. Which is pretty cool. Good. Part of me doesn't want to check these bookcases. 
<clears throat> in case I find like a million advanced carpentries, and then I'll be really depressed. Mm-mm, Ron Pizza. Right, while we're here, we'll dismantle these houses. We might as well do. Mm -hmm. What can I drop off? Those two. Um... The night sticks. The nails. And then I need the rest of it. <clears throat> right, we're not going to dismantle everything in these houses. Just the big stuff. Attach these to our belt, it'll make them weigh less. And the hope is that our guy just stops being unhappy over time. I think he will. I should lure that other zombie back out. Right? Oh, it's so nice not being in the big city anymore. It's peaceful. <clears throat> Hey, zombie. Whew. We can't get too much stuff. We can't carry too much. And these bathrooms all seem to kind of suck. Jim says, it's, it's nice not being in the city anymore. It's peaceful, he said, as he splattered brains on the back wall with a well-timed swing of his crowbar. <laughs> totally. It's relatively peaceful. Even the killing zombies here is peaceful.
Just take our time disassembling this newly constructed house. Dealing with some of their shit, but not too much. <clears throat> And then, when we get through here, we've got the warehouse up there, which will be awesome. Game, I was enjoying the relaxing music. Jesus Christ! He was a tough one. Probably keep one of these beds. <clears throat> we'll probably want to sleep soon. Very important to choose the right direction to dis uh, disassemble from. So that you can see in the door while you're doing it. Hmm. Let's drink that soda, then we can replace it with water, which lasts much longer. By that I don't mean the soda goes off, I mean <clears throat> you can get a lot more refreshment from a bottle of water. Sod it. I know you'll have heard that zombie. That is a lot of zombies. I like how he gets sweaty from uh, fighting. <clears throat> you know, if there was ever a place to test out a shotgun. Or level up our shotgun skill. This would be it. It's easy to retreat. There's not that many zombies around.
Wow, he's real keen to open that door, huh? Keep up the good work, zombie. Cattle, I'll take you. Nice. <clears throat> Whew! I'm sure we should get over this depressed funk he's in. Oh, he's only getting a tad weepy now. He's getting better. Good. Zombie, are you still at it? You've been doing that for hours, man. Come on, put your back into it. I believe in you, zombie. You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You're pathetic. Hmm. I'd like to wait till morning. I guess we can. Where are you going? You do have to feel somewhat bad for the zombies. Darkness is the worst. Is it this opportunity to disassemble the bed? Really? Really gonna go over there? Um... There we go. Sure would like to level our strength a bit. Right, I don't know if I care about the rest of these houses. I was mostly here for the water. I guess disassembling the beds does help. I was really mostly here for the water. Sod it, let's go. I 
can't be dealing with all these houses. There's too many of them. We're not getting anything special from them. I want to check that trailer. Might be in good condition. Don't mind me, zombies. I said, don't mind me, zombies. They had fair warning. Right. Please be in good condition. I kind of want to steal this thing. Ugh. I also want to know how to unhook it. Maybe you do it from inside here. No, I don't think you do. How'd you unhook it? There has to be a way. Maybe you need a wrench and I don't have a wrench on us. It's probably you need a wrench. I'd love to destroy that place. But that's very much one for the future. <clears throat> Time for the long drive. Back along this road. It uses up a load of fuel. It's a good job we're planning on taking over the um, gas station.
We should probably make a trip there now and fill up on fuel. We've not actually got much fuel. I thought we had more in cans than we do, but I think some of them might maybe be in our other cars. I'm not sure. I was going to stop there and level up our mechanics, but I'm not doing it in the middle of the night. Sure hope I'm going the right way. This is not the right way. But it is something. Dark is what it is. Ooh. Yoink. I mean, yoink. This is like a farm shed. Which is fine, but we don't really need it. Just now. those watering cans. Watering cans are pretty sick. They can hold a lot of water. And they're more efficient for um, watering plants. Like, the same amount of water can water twice as many plants, which is nice. I guess we'll explore here. We might as well. Don't know if I'll bother with those shitty trailers, but this building, sure. This very dark building. Our guy's just a little sad. I'm totally okay with that. I'm not gonna bother with those trailers. There's probably zombies over there. Can't be arsed with any zombies right now. <clears throat> We're up to 137, no, 1386. Not bad. We survived for one month, eleven days. 
So that's like, what, 41 days? So we've been averaging at 30... 30-something zombies a day. 35, I'm going to say. Might be wrong with that, but... It feels about right. Yeah, 35 zombies a day. I feel like we've killed more than 35 a day, but... I guess we've taken quite a few days off. <clears throat> right, I must have had to go left at that turning. I really am getting worried about fuel. I think we have to go to the petrol station today. I wanted to increase our carpentry first, but I don't think we've got a choice. We need more fuel. Either that we go home and we steal fuel from... Yeah, this is the right path. Either that we go home and steal fuel from our other cars, but I think we're better off just going to the fuel pumps. I've wanted to learn how to do it anyway, so... Let's do it. But before we do that, I'm going to restart the game because it's starting to lag. <clears throat> I can't be dealing with lag when we're probably getting into a pretty precarious situation. We're not dying. <clears throat> We're going to take over this world. It will be the dawning of a new era. <laughs> right. Petrol station is just down here. Hopefully, not all the zombies have respawned, because <clears throat> we did spend a long time killing a lot of zombies there. If they've all respawned, <clears throat> I'm not going to be happy.
As long as you stay on the decent roads, your fuel's okay. I think it just uses a lot more fuel to drive on rough terrain. Let's let him have a little smoke. Where's that poor policeman with a spear through him? He's somewhere around here. Maybe I already passed him. This isn't the pumps. is the pumps. Well, I mean, it definitely is pumps. But it's not the pumps I remember, is it? No, definitely not. Am I in the wrong place? I feel like I've come out way off target. I mean, that definitely is a set of fuel pumps. No, it is the right ones. I'm thinking of the other... the other base. I'm thinking of the other place where we fought our way to the pumps. Which is miles away. Ah, sweet complacency. Which means the zombies haven't respawned, it's just we've never been here. Which is fine. So this is where I'm thinking we build our base. It's got a little house. It's technically a shop, but we can turn it into a house. Build a wall around all this. Brilliant. As long as zombies don't spawn inside our walls once we've built them. Because if they do, then that's super lame. Now, arguably, I'm only here to get fuel, so I shouldn't kill all these guys yet. So 
let's not. <clears throat> I wonder how you repair a generator. I know they break over time. It's fine though, we'll worry about that when we need to. Right, I don't know how this works. I assume... We just drop the generator here. Connect generator? What's that going to connect it to? Unclear. Let's put some fuel in it. Not too much though, this is just a test. Eh, you know what, let's fill up the whole thing. Sod it. It's got 80% fuel. Now. Oh, look at that. That's very cool. Hey, Jeremy. What's the goal of today? You're assuming get the gas station set up as a main base. Correct. Absolutely correct. We just got our first fuel from the pumps, which is really cool. We've got a little generator set up. <clears throat> then we can fill tanks with this. I don't know if you can feed it directly into the car. I think you might have to put it into tanks and then put it in the car. I'm not sure. We might have to be the car to be closer. But either way, that's okay. <clears throat> God damn it. I guess the zombies don't care. That's fine. Can you use any pump or is the generator running all of them? I think the generator is running all of them. Well, I can't say that for sure. That scream was a little excessive. I agree. Turn on the generator. Take some fuel. This is very cool. Put it in the trunk. We can store nine cans worth in the trunk. And it barely uses any power. And we just turn it off when we're not using it. Uh, 
Jenna are only running one of them, is what you mean. Oh, uh, I think it's running these two. We'll find out. Um, easy way to find out. Let's... Grab some more gas cans. That might have been a bit excessive. So we can take fuel from that. We can take fuel... Oh, I guess it's running all of them. I guess it's running all of them. Which is fine, I guess. It's quite quiet as well. So then we need to secure this area. This is the next thing on the list. I also want to bring multiple generators here. Because generators break over time. And I don't know how to repair them. We can figure out how to repair them, but a short-term solution to repairing them is just have loads of generators. We probably will want another generator for, like, running a fridge maybe? Fridge freezer? This is really cool. Not sure how balanced it is that these have infinite fuel. They should probably only have a massive amount, not infinite. Because then you'd have reason to go to other gas stations. Right, there we go, that's nine. And then we'll use one more to fill up the car. And look, all of that, we've not even used 1% of the fuel. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And now that we've got infinite fuel, we can do the old uh, junker plan to get our other cars over here. But first we'll secure the base. And to do that we need carpentry and a lot of wood. A lot of wood. Right, let's leave. I don't trust that gunshot. Wait, before we leave. Let's turn that bad boy off. So long, suckers. Thanks for the fuel.
Only a few junks around that I can jump into an emergency isn't a bad idea. Yeah, true, true. I plan on having a whole fleet of cars of different shapes and sizes. One of every car would be nice. That'd be a good mission. Collect every car and then do them all up. We found a trailer earlier that you can attach to the back of your car, but uh, it was in terrible condition. Absolutely terrible condition. But if we can find one in good condition, or get our mechanics high enough to repair, then we can tow a little trailer behind us, which would be really nice. Now there is a place up here which would be a really nice place for a base because there's no no zombies spawn. <clears throat> but I think it's too good a location for a base and it's way out in the middle of nowhere which is not ideal. Here, no zombies spawn here. There's literally no zombies that spawn in this area. And you've got two giant warehouses. But I think having a base where no zombies spawn would be a bit dull. And I like the idea of having the petrol, the fuel place inside our base. So We could just transfer a bunch of fuel up here, but that'd be a pain in the ass. So we're not going to make a base here, even though it's the perfect place for one. Plus, where's the excitement when no zombies spawn, you know? <clears throat> What's the point in building a base if it'll never be under siege? If you had to focus on building and farming, that would be a great place. Yeah, totally. It absolutely would be. But I want our base somewhere where I can build a nice high tower and we can stand on top of the tower with a rifle and shoot zombies to train up our gun skill. And this ain't gonna cut it for that. Although I could just make a random tower somewhere. But I think it's more fun to make a make a base in the zombie populated territory. A bit more exciting. Plus the power thing is gonna be nice. Right, I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> Jeremy says, it's all nice and quiet till the helicopter flies over. I think the helicopter is a one-time thing. So I think we're good. We survived the helicopter yesterday. As brutal as it was. We did survive it. Right. Hammer, screwdriver, and we need a saw.
I'm also going to maybe deconstruct all this metal. Try and get our metal working up a bit. I've never leveled metal working. I think it'd be good. Earlier I spent so long disassembling crates that our guy became suicidal. He didn't kill himself, but he was hyper depressed. He's still not fully recovered from it. So I should treat him a bit better today. Like, actually let him sleep. It's just I don't like letting him sleep when it's daytime. It means we have to do all our work at night. I mean, this place would be good for storing cars. There's no denying that. Take an hour nap, set our alarm. Yeah, I should have done that. In our new base, once we've got everything set up, <clears throat> and we've got infinite power, we should be able to create lights, hopefully. I would hope. And actually get light at night, which would be great. For now, it's all about getting this carpentry up. Which means a fun disassembling spree. If we can get up to seven, we can make one of those sweet ass water collectors again. Which will be really nice. Can I just move the crate, use it as a temporary wall? I can do, yeah. I want to use them to try and get our carpentry skill up. It's getting there. And we can make our own crates once our carpentry skill is high enough. He's getting bored. I actually got rid of the last of his uh, unhappiness. I also want to try and learn trapping so that we can start getting some real food. I think I'm doing the right thing, you were just wondering if it was possible. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely possible. Look, you can, you can pick up most things. Um, there is a chance to break them. Depends how good your carpentry is. But you can, like, the higher your carpentry skill is, the less chance you have of breaking them. But you can pick up most things. You can pick up tables, you can pick up chairs, you can pick up beds, I think. You can pick up, like, everything. We might actually want to go to a place and pick up a bed at some point. Because if we're making a base, I'm not sure how much stuff we can craft. But we're going to want all mod cons in the base. So we'll have to go and loot some nice houses and steal all their furniture.
like a real asshole. And the good thing about disassembling all this is it gives us all the planks and nails we'll need to um, build the wall around the petrol station, hopefully. What level are we now? We're level 5 carpentry. At level 6 we can make stairs. At level 7 we can make improved water collectors. Did I ever find the book I needed? Yes, and it was such an ordeal. Oh my god. <clears throat> we had to... We went, we drove all the way out of town to a random uh, fuel, a random petrol station right out in the middle of nowhere. We had no idea where we were going. Um, then we came back. Then we... Then we decided to pick another path, which took us to... Remember that other place we started, where we were in, like, the motel at the beginning? And then I went into the office blocks and got killed. Like the big city. Remember that starting place? We ended up driving all the way to there, which is miles away. Absolutely miles away. <clears throat> then we found... A bookshop in that town. So I looted every single book that was in that bookshop. But it didn't have advanced carpentry. <clears throat> so I looted the entire bookstore. Didn't have advanced carpentry. So... We had to go and drive to another town. And loot the bookstore there. And that one did have advanced carpentry. But... I'm summing up that journey in a very short period. It took us about six, six or seven hours to find the book, going around all these places. It was really, really brutal. But we got it. We're going to have to transfer all this wood to the petrol station. We might want to use one of our different vehicles for that, that's got more storage. Getting hyper bored. She's making him unhappy, and the smokes aren't curing his unhappiness anymore. Need the big van for that, and still gonna take a few trips. Yeah, it really will. I mean, that has four seats, and we can put... We can put stuff in the seats. So potentially... It'd be alright. 
Or we just take the nails and there's wood nearby. We've got an axe. We just chop down trees over there is another option. It feels like a shame to let the wood go to waste. Maybe we'll combine the two approaches. Also, that foraging got rid of some of his boredom. That's nice. I thought it might. Right, trapping actually. I want to look at crafting. Trapper. Snare trap. Stick trap. Sturdy stick and twine. So that's what we use twine for. Can I make twine or is it something I have to loot? like it's something I have to loot. Bet reading a book on cooking would make him happy, but you're not sure I would be able to find one. <laughs> yeah, we'll never find the book on cooking. Not in a million years. We're getting there. He's getting tired. That's level six, I think. So now we can go back there and start building our wall, and then hopefully building the wall will get it to level seven. I don't know. I think that might be a bit ambitious. But it's possible. Let's eat this mac and cheese. I've been carrying that mac and cheese around for ages. I know, he's getting bored. Gonna need the big van and come empty handed for all that. Yeah, I know, right? Even then, I guess you can't disassemble these plastic chairs. <sighs> Just 
sleeping get rid of his boredom? No. Steal the water. Going for a drive gets rid of his boredom, so that's fine. Possible this carries more than the big van, you know. Big van's only got one seat. Well, two seats. No, it definitely doesn't carry more than the big van. Right, in that case. We want to take this vehicle to the petrol station and drop off everything that's in it. Right, driving in a thunderstorm, that'll get rid of his boredom. Oh, we also found the military base. We haven't raided it yet. That's a long-term objective. You know what'd be great? Project Zomboid. PvP. Like, player versus player. Like, you both spawn in the world at random locations, and you got to try and kill each other. It'd be a very long-term thing. That'd be really fun. Because you'd have to try and survive, but you'd also have to try and avoid the guy killing you, trying to kill you, whilst hunting him down. <clears throat> It'd make guns actually have a use. Although I do plan on learning guns. I'd love to play Project Zomboid in it, and uh, have to try and kill someone. I think it'd be really fun. First one to find a gun would most likely win. It depends, right? Because they'd have to find you. And the map is huge. And they'd have to learn to be good with the gun, because it's really hard to aim with them. And you can get bulletproof vests and stuff. It'd be really interesting, it'd be really, really interesting. get one of the sniper rifles and like hide out at the hide out at the gas stations waiting for them to come by to get fuel and then snipe them send a horde of zombies over with cop car sirens going yeah exactly right you could be real creative It'd be even more fun with groups. 
Like two teams spawn in. Two teams of like five each. And not only do they have to survive in the world, but they also have to try and beat the other team. Project Zomboid multiplayer could be really, really, really good. It'd be very long term though. It wouldn't be like it's over in an hour or whatever. It'd be like a full campaign. But it'd be amazing if you could get a group to play it. Because in the game, in multiplayer, I believe you can only talk to each other if you've got walkie-talkies. Like, multiplayer makes the walkie-talkies useful. And the radios. So as long as you weren't cheating and communicating outside the game, it'd add a whole new dynamic. Right. Yeah, an MMO, like... That might be too many people. But like, maybe like, Battlefield sized amounts. Like the Battlefield games, like 64 people. Oh man, it'd be great. It'd be absolutely fantastic. It'd be the best multiplayer experience out there. In my opinion. I mean, apparently Project Zomboid multiplayer is already fun, and that's with people working together. Although I don't know if it forces you to work together, so you could just play that game mode by yourself, you know, without it being built in. I'd love to play Project Zomboid multiplayer. Am I still using Crowbar number two, or is this a new one? I think this is Crowbar number three. Maybe crowbar number four. You've got no idea how many people we've killed. In fact, I'll show you. We have killed... 1,407 zombies. Our last character, who survived for two months, only killed 500. We've gone zombie killing crazy. In half the time, we've killed three times the zombies. The other guy didn't discover the power of the crowbar, yeah, that's true. The other guy started out um, stomping people to death for like two weeks. Which was effective, but it's no long term solution. I think my relying on that one guy stomping people to death for two weeks was actually pretty good. I think it taught me how to fight quite effectively, <clears throat> even with limited resources. So then when I actually had a weapon, it's like he's gone Super Saiyan. Look, this place even comes in a little house. Hard to type with one hand and keep the granddaughter from grabbing the phone with the other. <laughs> nice.
So we even get a little house here. It's perfect. There's no lights, but if we can hook up a generator, the lights will start working again. <clears throat> and if we could build on the roof a rain collector, the sink could start working again. Which would be really cool. And we could get, with a, with a generator, we could get the oven and the refrigerator working again. And then we'd be rocking. Right. I'll be back in a sec, and then we need to transfer everything out of the car. I think we'll transfer it just onto the floor, honestly. Um, but into relatively sane piles. Then we'll drive back home, get the large truck, and uh, take it up there to get all the wood. And that'll be great! But I'll be back in a sec. Let's see. Jeremy says, reinforce everything and board up the windows. Clear out the house and just keep the essentials. It will be a great place. Yeah! That's what we need to do, right? I don't think we need to board up the windows, honestly. Maybe the downstairs ones. <clears throat> well, I think we should do a multi-tier defense. So I think we should build a wall. And then inside there, probably build another wall around the actual house proper. And then, well then, I don't know. But I think we should do that. <clears throat> For sure. And I want a wall to go around the parking lot so that I'm really curious how zombie spawning will work, because zombies spawn inside the gas station. So if I build a wall around the gas station, will it stop zombies spawning there? You would hope so, right? And if that's true... If that's true... Could you build a wall around the entire edge of the map? And the game would treat it as one giant base. And not let zombies spawn. These are the important questions. Could you wall off a town? She would really hope so. Like, build a wall around a town, kill all the zombies inside it, and then zombies don't spawn? That makes sense. But I don't know how the respawning works in this game. 
But we'll find out, because when we built a wall around this petrol station, if zombies spawn inside it, then we'll know that it makes no sense. But if that does work, my ultimate goal, which I'll never accomplish, would be to build a wall around the entire map. It'd never happen. The map's huge. But, can you imagine it? I see you, zombie. I guess we have been here before because we've got the keys for this car. This car shit equality though. Yeah. That's fine. Right, let's start dumping all the stuff out. So I want to build a wall, probably just around this perimeter, honestly. Then we can build a road, we can build a platform across here, and we can have our farm up here. We probably want more than that for a farm, but it'd be a good starting farm. Um. Start dumping stuff. I guess we are making a super pile. Tire pump. I'll keep a gas can so that we can fill up the car with gas when we get back. Our backpack. We'll keep everything in our backpack for the most part. Let's go home. <clears throat> to our old home. I should drive a Junker back home if I can, now that I think about it. F*** 
unfortunately, there's a Junker right here. That we have access to. Shouldn't need more than five fuel. If it does, that's a real shame. I guess we'll be stuck. This is such a shit car. I mean, it's actually not a bad little car, it's just incredibly damaged. I've not checked out the bank yet. There's probably quite good stuff in the bank. Well, I don't know what they'd be, to be honest. There's our old friend, the courthouse. how stressful it used to be us roaming this area. <clears throat> Come a long way. We've come a long way. <clears throat> oh hey you zombie. Oh it's that guy, the little crawling zombie. Hey buddy. He's been there for ages. Joke's on him. Silly zombie, you can't swim on the road. How much fuel does this thing have? Enough to get home. Okay, cool. This is really knackered, but it's got a big trunk. Carry over 200, yeah, this is well worth it. Yeah, this is fine. What the hell just happened? much harder to steer, but that makes sense.
This car's a fixer upper. It's also extremely loud. Level up mechanical with that one. I think I'll level up mechanical with that one. It's an extremely loud car, that's that's the problem with it. It needs a better muffler. Right, let's... Oh my god, they're still coming. Need the wall, yeah, totally. Definitely need the wall. So that's got 200 storage, means we can store about 70, 70 planks in it, including our backpack. Right, we need to put more fuel in it. Whew. This is really nice having this fuel. Just gets rid of an entire stress. Right, that's it full up. Probably take an extra cam with me. Just in case, because this thing can't store much fuel. Alright. That should be fine. <clears throat> oh. 
Where's my policeman with the spear through him? He should be here somewhere. That guy's got a spear through him, but he's not a policeman. Coming through. Sorry, zombie. Whew. I wonder how big we should make the wall. Probably pretty damn big. Maybe not though. Maybe small is good. I think we'll build a small one first and then we might expand outwards over time. Right, operation grab all the planks. Nails are okay, we can pick up the nails later, but planks... Oh my god, right. Let's drop off everything that we're not... Double fence with a walkway in between. Yeah, exactly, right? Exactly. I'd love a better backpack. Our backpack is pretty damn good, but there are better ones. Got to do this nine at a time. Unless we want to break our back. I guess nine at a time is fine. <sighs> what how many there are in this place total? This is all right. <clears throat> See a box of nails, I'll pick it up. They don't weigh very much.
I have been busy. Real busy. We're taking over the petrol station. Probably let him sleep. That doesn't mean I'm going to. Right, that's the trunk mostly full. Then we can store eight on each seat. Eight on there, we can store four in the glove compartment, which is kind of mental. Four planks in the glove compartment. How big is that bloody glove compartment? Then we want to take everything except the planks. And that should let us store another set in the back. <laughs> One more. Why waste space? And then we can fit one more in our backpack. Why waste space? Nice. <clears throat> right. Should we sleep before we go back? Yeah, because we might get into a fight when we get back. Right. Let's go. Shame it's such a long journey back. Which is the main reason I don't want to build our base up there. Even though there's no zombies. The fact that you have to drive along this road every time. It just drives me crazy.
Sorry, zombie. I was eating a berry. About halfway from the road, about halfway up the road would be a good spot if you want to build a base 100% from scratch. Yeah, true, true. You know, I said on our last good playthrough, I wanted to build a base on the intersection of the highway. Like, actually build a base here. I think that'd be really cool. And it's right next to the petrol station. So we might expand our base. Oh my god, what the hell? We might extend our base to cover the interstate at some point. I think that would be pretty sweet. Tano says, playing the forest in VR is weird. Man, I like playing games in VR. Oh, it's ridiculous how noisy that vehicle is. Funny since your attack speed against enemies isn't based on your animations, but how fast you can whack them with your arm. Oh, interesting, yeah. Look, zombies. We're taking over this town. I'd love to stream some VR games, it's just a shame I can't see the chat while I'm sh uh, playing VR. I am going to need a spot to pile up the bodies, that's very true. Very, very true. Right. Time to get to work, and then we'll go back for the other ones. Step one, drop off the gas can. Step two, see what we need to make a wall. Two nails, two planks. Okay, good. Am I going to start my fence along the asphalt or make a bigger perimeter? I think initially, along the asphalt, and then we can do the second row out in the perimeter. I think that's probably a good idea. All right, nails. Think that's a good idea. It's not a bad idea, let's do it. <clears throat> it's definitely an idea. Do you know what? I'll take an idea. <sighs> Come on. 
collecting these planks is going to be a right pain in the butt. move the van along with us. No, it's so noisy, I'm not doing that. I could also empty out the rest of the backpack. We'll build the frame first, and then we'll populate the frame. This is just the frame that you have to fill in, yeah. You can fill it in with wood or metal. I guess the advantage of that van being so loud is that nobody's gonna be alive to hear the carpentry because they all heard the van and came in walking in and got killed. So that's pretty good. Do you hear a zombie? Where are you, zombie? God, I hate night time. Oh, they're just up there, that's fine. They're just chilling out. The sheer amount of wood we're gonna need. Doesn't bear thinking about. And this will be leveling up our carpentry, which is nice. I don't know how fast it's leveling it up. I don't really want to check. But... It will be doing it. <clears throat> and when we run out of wood, we can just chop down these trees. And that will get us even more. Should probably let him rest a bit. But I'm not going to. <sighs> and even though this isn't a wall, it does slow down zombies quite significantly. They bang against it and then they climb through. And then we'll populate the walls at the end. We're really going to need a lot of planks. But it's totally going to be worth it, maybe.
This is why higher strength would be really nice. Higher strength would be great. Quite relaxing building this wall though. Now I'm not sure what we do here. Do we build out to the road? Maybe. Or do we build a gate here? Hmm. Hmm. Unsure. Where's my water? Where's my water? Oh dear. Cat love water. You'll do. I really need to build a collector, or we need to take a trip to the courthouse. I just put those in my real inventory, not my backpack. is definitely gonna become a problem. The thing is, I'm sure we have more water than that. Do I leave our water somewhere? I guess it's fine, we can uh... Yeah, we should have more bleach bottles somewhere. That's fine though. Right, let's see if we can sleep. Please don't be a foggy day. Hmm. 
If I demolish that roof, I can put my rain catchers up there, and then we could plummet up to all this stuff. <clears throat> That'd be really cool. Sort of. It wouldn't be bad. I guess we've made some progress on the wall. Seven planks. Oh, can't do eight, no? Ooh. Right, this will let us end this corner. Nice. I'm not sure what we're going to do here. Put the bodies in the wall as filler, like in the Great Wall of China. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what we'll do with these bodies. Right, that was a full van load. To do... Probably like a fifth of the wall without it actually being a real wall. <clears throat> that doesn't bode hugely well. Put them on pikes as a warning to our enemies. Yeah, that's a good idea. <clears throat> they decompose eventually, so. We don't have to worry about them too hard. Oh, I put the planks back in the vehicle. I'm such a fool. Right. <clears throat> One truckload gets us that much wall. That's good to know. So, another truckload will get us... Probably down to there. I wonder where that road leads. You were just dragging to an out-of-way corner. Yeah, I'm okay with them being there now. Um, temporarily. Not forever. <clears throat> right, we need more wood. <laughs> that means... Probably...
going all the way back. We need like three or four trips of wood. We cleared out a bunch of that warehouse, then we have the other warehouse. Then we have the courthouse. Which works out quite nicely because the courthouse is where there's a lot of water. I am tempted to just wall off the petrol station at first. And say screw the house. But we should probably include the house in it. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Or at least planning to do right until you get lazy. Right, I'll be back in a sec, and then we'll go and get more wood. <laughs> Ugh. Had a change of heart on the whole get more wood thing. We're just going to cut down these trees. You heard the blue pill will give us more wood. <laughs> Very good. We're going to cut down these trees. They're in the right area anyway. Now where's my axe? Where's my saw? Actually, the saw we can worry about later. I like how I've got two gun cases with me. We want to do this anyway to make sure zombies can't sneak up on us. Yeah, hi zombie. Each tree gets us three planks. Maybe more than that, actually. That one got us two sets of wood, I think. Each tree gets us a lot of planks. Maybe it's six per tree. 
Maybe it depends on the age of the tree. Six planks per tree. God, our trees are amazing. Is there anything they can't do? Right, we need to rest. <laughs> <clears throat> Show me don't have any books to read. No, actually, maybe we do. I've read most of the beginner books. I guess we can read these three. Jeez, we're slow. I'm not resting outside, though. Hell no. What if we can sleep? sleep for a couple of hours. He's still tired, but that's okay. Now we can read all these. It's very easy to stop resting when it says you're not tired anymore. But if you do that instantly, then you instantly become tired again. So you always want to rest a little bit longer after it says you're rested. Right, now we need a saw. Oh, what an ordeal this is. But you know what? It's a worthwhile endeavor. And I'm a big fan of worthwhile endeavors. <laughs> I 
I hear you, zombie. Where's that zombie? <clears throat> Ah, they're not bothering anyone. Fair play, zombies. As long as we have an understanding. Whew. <clears throat> Nice! That was loads of planks. Time to break our own back. I'm not doing a million journeys. Did injure us quite a bit. But whatever. I'm sure these aren't spaced out correctly, but it's fine. Let's eat more berries than we need to, because these are going to go off at some point. And it'll help our healing. I wonder how our weight's doing. 89! Oh... We're actually going to have to start thinking about real food at some point. Goddamn Break his back just a little bit more. Just a little. Just a tad. Cool. 
So I need to put six down in each pile, that makes sense. This is such a better way of doing things. This is going swimmingly. <laughs> Knew it. I know I missed one. Thought you got away, huh? Jesus Christ! <sighs> you bastards! Scared the crap out of me. Nice. I mean, yeah, nice, nice, totally nice. Got a decent amount done. Sort of. Can we sleep again? Yes. Good.
Right. <clears throat> Is it back to chopping more wood? It might be. Hmm. Probably bring a real weapon instead of using this hammer. Clear out these fools. The fact that they scared me shitless during the night. I just can't be living with that. You've signed your death warrant, zombies. <clears throat> For the second time. where that path goes. Oh, it just goes to the main road. That's pretty good, actually. That's another exit that doesn't take us through that intersection where all the, um... All the annoyances. <clears throat> all the zombies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, chopping more trees. It's an awful job, but somebody's got to do it. And that somebody is Alex Fisher. At one point I'm expecting to cut down a tree and just have like a horde of zombies behind it. Which would be pretty great. Yeah, hi zombies, I know, you heard me. Well done. Round of applause for the zombie. Come on then. I challenge you to a fist fight. You lose! You get nothing! Whew. Back to it. I know we're super tired and I really shouldn't be cutting down more trees. But look, sometimes you got to live a little. Very cool. Oh, he's so tired. Never has he ever been so tired for so long. This job is really taking it out of him.
Do we build up here? I don't think we do. I think we just build across there. I can't be using more wood than we need to to wall this in. Otherwise I'm going to go crazy. and then behind the house and back down. Yeah, totally. That's exactly it. The problem is, he is... Oh no, he's almost healed again, actually. Never mind. Maybe it's not a problem. Probably let him rest a bit. You know what? <clears throat> no, no, uh, no, no. We can build gates. Um, double wooden door. We needed six carpentry. That was another reason we were building up our carpentry. Uses twelve planks, but we can definitely do it. Right, I'm going to take the opportunity while he's resting to roll myself a smoke. But yeah, yeah, we're totally going to build gates. A whole bunch of them. I think we've got three exits to the base. So we'll build three gates. And then... Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. <clears throat> sure is using a lot of wood. It's a good job those trees were nearby. Can you imagine if we had to drive away and get logs every time? Doesn't bear thinking about. Be nice if we had higher strength, though. So we could carry more. Our strength is getting there. Just you need so much XP at these higher levels. Thing is, if you start as a normal character and you don't pick any traits, you start with five strength. So we're still weaker than a normal starting character. Which is pretty ridiculous when you think about how fast we're laying out the zombies. I guess our long blunt skill is pretty high. But yeah, technically we're a below average strength character. Five is supposed to be average. Pretty ridiculous when you think about it. Right. When you think about how much murdering our guy's done, and he's still considered subpar. But that's because he uses the strength of his mind. And then once this is done, we can actually start thinking about farming. Although we should probably think about trapping. For that we need twine. Twine, twine, twine. And if there's one thing I don't think I've been looting, it's twine. Mm 
Yeah, that's true. I can take apart some of this furniture for planks. That's very true. I'll get his carpentry as well. Speaking of... I haven't read the carpentry book. Oh, I haven't read the carpentry book. Now, it might not sound that bad that I haven't read the carpentry book. But the carpentry book means we get 12 times the XP. So we would have actually made over 2,000 instead of 200. It's fine, it's all fine, we've still got plenty of wool to build, let's read the book. God damn it. Uh, hi, zombie. One second, zombie. How'd those safety goggles work out for you? <coughs> right, where's expert carpentry? I'm sure I brought expert carpentry because I was aware this was going to happen. Now I know we can't trust it when I say that. There it is. We'll read it after I move all the logs. Because that's going to tire us out. All the planks. Oh, our berries are starting to go off. Look at that. Terrible. Can't even forage here. Ugh. No, don't drop them all. Ah, oh, you. <sighs> Poor guy. I'm slowly killing him over time. He'll be fine. He'll get over it. <clears throat> hmm. 
I don't think this is actually any faster than doing them one at a time, but it feels more satisfying when I end up building them all. Grab half. I was gonna grab them all, but I don't want to damage him any further. He's already living a bit of a rough life. We'll drop these off, then let him read some carpentry. By the time he's done reading, uh, we'll let him sleep. takes him a long time to read. But he's reading the whole thing. I don't care if he gets bored. He's reading the whole thing. If he gets bored, we can go and find a zombie for him to kill. Ghost Detective says, fast read trait and mod. You read books a hundred times faster. Um, I'm actually okay with it taking him a while to read the books. It's something that we brought on ourselves by taking the slow reader trait. <clears throat> I complain about it, but it's benevolent complaining. I'm okay with it. It's something we have to plan around, right? Yeah, yeah, I picked Slow Reader. I picked uh, pretty much every negative trait I could that wasn't going to absolutely cripple us. So that I could get a ton of positive traits. And it worked like a charm. But it does mean that we're a bit screwed in some departments, like reading. But it's okay, usually you can read a book in the course of, like, a day. You just force him to stay awake until he's done it, really. It's fine. It's a nice little break for him from uh, building the wall. The wall of doom. Yeah, he's getting bored, that's fine. There we go. You said the trait section for a good 15 minutes before you start a game? Yeah, totally, man. Very important. The one that I'm sad we took. I don't mind most of the ones we took, but the one I'm sad about is a slow driver. Slow driver's an absolute killer. I didn't think it was going to be that bad, but it really slows us down. We're losing the face mask, etc. around the house, making them happier. 
I don't think so, but um, because we took Smoker, every time he smokes, he gets a bit happier. So that's pretty good. It's a nice little benefit of the Smoker perk. Well, <clears throat> that gunshot probably loads some zombies, but you know what? He was getting bored anyway, so... Perfect. Oh, zombies! You wanna come and relieve our boredom? Aha, you'll do! <clears throat> Let's dance. I do need to clean up these corpses. Where'd the other zombie go? Down there. Don't let any zombies escape. God damn it, I need to restart the game. Zoltando says, an amazing cultivation simulator. You can use corpses of your enemies as fertilizer for magic trees. Zombie. I know you want to run away, but I'm not having it. Get back here. Ah, peaceful. When you're so brutal, even the zombies start trying to get the fuck out. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> right. Now we can actually uh, finish building this wall and hopefully level up carpentry to seven. Then we can build our rain collectors and then we live in the dream. Then it's all about farming, trapping, and mechanics. And metalwork, I guess. But mostly farming, trapping, and mechanics. <clears throat> Do them six at a time, that worked quite well last time. How's our weight doing? 88. Looking good. I'd really like a large backpack. That'd be just swell. Get out of here, zombie. I'm not playing around. I really do like the music in this game. <clears throat> Mm. 
look, I'm sorry, zombie. Remember, you made me do this. We could have lived in peace. Right, I need to restart the game. I keep saying that and then I get distracted building this goddamn fence. What are you doing there? You sly bastard. Oh, how I wish we had higher strength. I don't particularly mind that this is tiring him out. Hopefully, um... Hopefully he gets tired enough to sleep again at a decent time and he can wake up in the morning. I'm sick of him sleeping through the day and then us having to work at night. It's a real pain in the butt. <clears throat> I've totally hit complacent mode again. Just walking around fully exhausted. At night. <clears throat> it's not a smart move. <clears throat> right, we're more than half done with the fence. <sighs> sort of. There's no one around to hear this, right? I know I'm gonna have misjudged one of these, yeah. There's gonna be a gap. Maybe? Eh, maybe not, actually. Maybe I judged it totally right. I hear you, zombie. Look, I know we're tired. I'm still gonna kill you. God damn it. Right, I'm restarting after this fight. This, this hanging is too much. I don't know why it started doing it. Restart. Restart. After I do this wall. Just this one bit. No, I did misjudge it. Look at that. One extra. Oh, woe is me. Let's restart the game. <clears throat> Ooh, <clears throat> I reached a hundred hours played, according to GOG. Not too shabby. It's not often I reach 100 hours in a game. It just shows how intriguing I find this.
Oh, I misjudged this pile as well. Really? It's still hanging? No way! Wait, it's like proper hanging this time. Hmm. Not happy about that. I guess we'll just fill in the gaps at the end. Okay, let's do it from the inside looking out. So we can see if any cheeky zombies are trying to come over. I actually want a gate here. Let's hold off on those ones. A gate is too wide, I think. Yeah. So we'll do two in. How, how long is a road? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Come oh, you gotta be seven. Where did I put the rest of my water bottles? In the van, maybe? Look, I know I've got water bottles somewhere. Where are they? Can't love water. You'll do. We're gonna have to go on a trip to the courthouse. Maybe we should do that in the morning. Spice up things a bit. We've been building this wall for like three days now. Go to the courtyard, courthouse, collect some water. I'll leave some planks down here. No. 
Okay, that's fine. Coming along well. Right, we need to chop down some trees or start dismantling furniture or take a trip to... In fact, if we go to the courthouse, we can steal wood from the courthouse. Let's do that. We'll do that today, unless it's foggy. Oh, come on. Right, I'll be right back. <laughs> I hate this fog. When it's foggy, I don't want to go out driving. That's really what got us killed last time. Hmm. We do need water. There's just no denying that fact. Well, no, probably okay. Time to start dismantling. Yeah, good call. Good call. zombie will probably hear us and come upstairs. But that's fine. I don't mind killing a zombie. <laughs> right, I'm not picking up that sink. Dismantling the bed. The bed's pretty useful. Yeah, look, we can pick up a bed. 30% chance to break. But the higher our carpentry is, the uh, lower that chance is, so... That's pretty good. Oh, screwdriver. I mean, the fog will probably end at, like, 2 p.m. usually. So it's not the end of the world. It's just annoying. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, let's eat those chips. Trying to stop our guy's weight going too low. I kind of liked him being fat. Ah, I can disassemble these. Awesome. I could just make him gorge on um, a whole bunch of stuff. I want to get his weight up. Getting bored, huh? That's fine. We'll go find a zombie. <clears throat> I'm not cruel. What was that? Car battery charger. Hey, nice. Damn value tires. Nothing worse than finding a crappy value tire. Please let me disassemble this. No? Well, that's just whack. We'll keep the freezers. <clears throat> we can power them with a generator. Won't let me disassemble that either. <coughs> That's fine. We'll find a use for them. Ooh, a top! Finally! Can't believe I never looked in there. You know what that means? It means we can make a tent. And that means that we can sleep anywhere. That's gonna be awesome. But... That's everything dismantled. I guess there's a few doors we could dismantle if I get a screwdriver. We do have a bunch of screwdrivers with us. It's just I'm being lazy. Um, or we can just read a book until the fog dissipate, dissipates. It usually dissipates at like 2 p.m. So that gives us plenty of time to go to the courtyard. But if we go into the courtyard, we want to take as many water containers as we can with us. <clears throat> sort of. Although we also want to bring back a bunch of planks, so... It's a balancing act. <clears throat> it's very much a balancing act. Thing is, I know we've got more bleach bottles filled with water. It's just, I don't know where I put them. I definitely put them somewhere, but I don't know where. I see you, zombies. What do you think you're doing?
Ah, uh, it's just a crappy duffel bag. Ain't nobody got time for no duffel bag. Just because it's foggy and there's zombies outside. No reason to not keep working. I'm out of nails again. I am out of nails again. Really chewing through the nails. Also, how's our XP doing? Should be doing a lot better now. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit, I stopped from smoking. Gotta remember not to sprint when you're smoking. It'd be nice if our wall had some grassy area in it for chopping down trees. Like within the area. <clears throat> but I guess that's for the second wall. Yeah, that can be for the second wall. Oh right, the whole nail fiasco. <clears throat> it's fine, we've got plenty of nails. We've got nails out the wazoo. Yeah, no worries, James. Simple graphics for an old laptop. Yeah, and it's great. It's really, really great. Do we want to go to the courthouse today? Um, all signs point to... Why can't I build that?
Uh, I guess that wood's too far away. Tell you what, if zombies start spawning inside our wall and this becomes a redundant wall, I'm not going to be happy. But if they don't, I'm going to be thrilled. Very cool. <clears throat> Our guy's literally been hunched down like that for the past one and a half months. Can't be good for his posture. Just can't be. Seven. Traps, traps, traps. I really want to make traps. Are there any of the other books I can read? I don't think so. I think we'll just soldier on. And then we need to do the full circuit again and replace it with walls, but it only takes one plank to actually wall it in, so that's not too bad. One plank and maybe one nail.
still going to be a lot of planks, but it'll be a lot easier. <sighs> totally forgot there was a back door. What a fool I am. Thought you got away, huh? Very cool. We're getting there. We are getting there. We've used all our planks. Although we've got some upstairs, but not many. Probably let him sleep. Let's let him sleep. <clears throat> then it's right back to it. He'll wake up in the middle of the night, which is unfortunate, but <clears throat> it's a habit he can't seem to break. Zombies. I summon you. Gonna have to go foraging soon. When we go foraging, we'll go to the courthouse. Or the other place. Right, we'll go to the courthouse tomorrow. In the meantime, it's so far to cut down trees. We'll cut down those trees when we're finishing off the wall.
For now, have we got enough tent pegs with us to make a tent? Because <coughs> that would be great. Then I'll happily go to the courthouse right now. We need four. They might be some in our pile, the pile of doom. One of the piles of doom. Any tent pegs? What about this pile of doom? Oh, we're missing one. Okay, I guess we're not getting to take a tent with us. We do have enough tent pegs, but they must be in the other base. Right, let's um, drive over there. I know it's a little bit risky driving at night, but it's not that risky. Plenty of fuel. I've got a saw. I've got a hammer. Screwdriver. <clears throat> Where are you, screwdrivers? I'll take some buckets. If we're filling up on water, we might as well fill up on a decent amount. Let's go! You don't want to come exploring, zombie. It's bad for your health.
duffel bag. Screw the duffel bags, man. A courthouse. Anyone home? That is a black room, Jesus Christ. Okay, this is way too dark. I'd love to take this water cooler, look, you can fill it up as well. Alright, this is going to break his back a bit, but that's fine. Sorry, Grandma. Wow, she had a sturdy head. That's clearly double doors. Nice. And... If there are any zombies in here, they should have heard that. Nice try, zombie. Okay then. <clears throat> the fact that you can drive cars in here means this is a really nice place. I mean, it's a bit awkward getting them in, but. <clears throat> Still, it'd be really nice. This was my initial choice for a base. I 
I've moved away from it. Really irks me how I can't dismantle these pews. Yeah, I could dismantle the ones down there. Oh yeah, we did this back when our carpentry sucked. So there's a lot of scrap wood. It's a bit of a shame. I'm sure I hear a zombie. Maybe he's upstairs. Zombie? Eight at a time. That's pretty good. So glad we could drive the van in here, otherwise this would have been brutal. Damn it, our berries are going off. Holy crap, there was a shotgun in here the whole time. Can't believe it. Yoink. I'll take a garbage bag. Two thousand XP to level. That's a bit depressing. That means if I'd read that book when I should have read that book, would have leveled by now. But it's fine. I actually need food. I'm not eating those shitty berries. 
I have standards to an extent. Go foraging. I think to forage, we have to go all the way up here, which is a bit annoying. I was hoping as the world got more overgrown, it'd increase the amount of foraging space. Maybe it does, but it's just not been long enough yet. It's up here we can forage, I think. Oh, zombies! Holy shit, I'm almost at 12 hours of my stream. Oh no! That means it's almost 2 a.m., which means I'm gonna have to call it a day soon. I want to finish that wall. Oh, woe is me. Woe is me. I guess we'll be finishing the wall tomorrow. Let's do this delivery. I hope nothing goes wrong. And then I guess we'll be finishing the wall tomorrow. Which is fine. We accomplished our goal for today, which was... Uh, find the book. Took us seven hours, but we did it. <clears throat> Look, I hear you, zombie. I'm ready to run if a zombie shows up. Say run. I'm ready to fight if a zombie shows up. How many berries did we get? <clears throat> Twenty two. That'll do. That'll keep us going for a couple of days. Uh -huh. We've got a police car still down here. Full of weapons, I think. Pretty sure I filled it with weapons. It's just we've never come back on foot to uh, take it. But we'll drive a junker down here at some point. And then pick up that cop car. It's in pretty good condition.
Right, very cool. Let's grab the rest of this wood. I could eat those berries, it's not the end of the world. You get slight unhappiness and slight boredom. James says, so really, this is pretty similar to The Sims, but with no kids. You build a house, go off to work, cook, etc. <laughs> yeah, totally. Plus zombies. <laughs> I need to play Sims Medieval again. Man, I was loving that game. Yoink. I should probably steal the nails as well, but we've got so many in the base. I don't feel any compelling need to do so. No need for a courthouse anymore. The only justice comes at the end of this crowbar. Okay, we've almost filled up the van. <clears throat> almost. Starting to get tired, huh? Hmm. I let him rest at the base. There's a chance he has to get into a big fight while tired. But if I'm let him rest here, then we have to go home in the dark. We'll let him rest at the base. Let's go. again
Very cool. I really wanted to finish this wall, but I'm coming up on the 11 hours 55 minutes mark. Plus, I can't knacker my sleeping pattern. <clears throat> Not like this guy, whose sleeping pattern is totally screwed. So, we're gonna have to call it a day there, I'm afraid. Tomorrow, we'll be doing another mega stream. And <clears throat> we'll get our base up and running. It'll be great. Get our base up and running, build a farm, maybe do some other things. I just don't know. Possibly die, but hopefully not. But for now, I'm gonna have to call it a day. So I will catch you guys later. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Adios.